Maybe now we're streaming. All right, welcome to Minko Football. We're glad you've joined us this Friday evening to be able to watch the Minko Bulldogs take on the Dibble Demons. Always a great football game, so we're glad that you're joining us. Uh, I tried to have Mr. Sims join us, but we are having technical difficulties, and we could not get it hooked up. And uh, I, I don't know what happened. It just didn't happen. And so... Uh, so it'll be just me tonight talking to you. So we're glad that you're here, glad that you've joined us. We're going to get started here in about three minutes. And uh, we'll kick off this 2021 football season. And it is great to be out here on Friday night to be able to watch these Bulldogs. I know you're excited to watch them as well as you join at home or on your phone or maybe you're far away watching a family member or whatever it might be. We're glad you're joining us, and we're going to have a good time tonight. We're going to watch these Bulldogs play. Uh, last year, it was a close game between Dibble and Minko. It was back and forth and back and forth, a defensive battle, and finally a turnover or two turned uh, the Bulldogs' way, and they were able to uh, pull out the game winner. And uh, so hopefully we'll see how these Bulldogs line up with the Dibble Demons this year. I do know, as I talk to a few, that uh, they're really going to watch the running back from Dibble. He comes back, but the quarterback's brand new. And so don't know much about him. We'll know the defense will be good. The offensive line, defensive line for Dibble will be good. And then on the Miko side, uh, a lot of young guys played last year, and so they're going to be coming in to, ready to go this year. Uh, and so more experience, and uh, so we're going to be excited to see that. I'm very interested in the offensive line, very interested in the defensive line for the Bulldogs. And so we'll see how they do this year uh, and how they stack up compared to last year. And so number 85 here, Will Holding is going to kick off. He's a senior for the Bulldogs. And he's going to kick it deep. He gets over his head. He's going to pick it up about the eight-yard line. Good pursuit. Can't get him down. He's still dancing and finally down by a host of Bulldogs down about the 16-yard line. And so that'll be first and 10 for Dibble Demons, 16-yard line, and we'll begin this game. Good kick. Last year, every kick that I remember went straight out of bounds about the 35-yard line, and that's where they started every single time last year. And that was a good kick by Holding. He got it all the way down to the about the 7-8 uh, yard line. I'd like to see more of that. And so good start there, starting behind the 20. And we'll see how the defense looks. Let's see if I can give you some names here. Looks like the nose tackles are number 73, Eli Kirkus. And uh, number, was that, 53, 52, uh, Shane Godwin. And the quarterback's going to look to run. And he gets met quickly by number one, Dylan Warden. And he puts him on his back. Number three also there to help. And uh, that is Ashton Taylor. Those are both sophomore or sophomore and a senior. Dylan Warden a senior. And so your defensive ends are number, number 70, Bryce Williams. Number three, Ashton Taylor. Uh, looks like your linebackers are number, uh, let's see, number 12, Jackson Pate. And number, what is that, 60? Number 60, uh, Hoel Lara. I'll get your defensive back here in just a moment. It's going to be a handoff. Met and tackled. And that was by, I think, number 12 there, uh, Jackson Pate. Oh, no, that was uh, Hoel Lara. He was able to stick his head in there and get after it. Uh, so... Defensive backfield, number one, Dylan Warden. Number five, Reed McMurtry. Number 22 is uh, Carter Pate. Uh, number two, Ben Birchfield. And number 85 is Will Holding. So this will be third down and seven. Looking to pass. Nobody to throw it to. Pressure by number 12, Jackson Pate. Made him throw it early, and there was nobody home, and so that will be uh, – Fourth down and about eight. And so great job by the Bulldog defense to start off with a three and out and make the Demons punt deep into the territory. So going to get good field position. Looks like Reed McMurtry is going to come back and he's going to field the kick. Man, what a great first set of downs for the defense. It really cost some havoc there. Good solid tackling. And 
And looks like we're going to get a timeout. Dibble. Don't know what happened there. Looks like first game jitters maybe. Didn't get all of their special teams out there. That's part of it on the first game. You practice, 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 and then the one guy doesn't go out there. So great start by the Minko Bulldogs. That was one of my questions was the defensive line. Uh, they were able to get a lot of, lot of um, just a lot of pressure, a lot getting in the backfield, good solid tackling, and so a uh, great start there. And so I like to see that from the defensive line. It was really good. And so I'd like to see more of that. Now when we get to the offensive side here, I want to handle this kick, but I'm interested in the offensive line, how we're going to be able to move people, if we're going to be able to run. Uh, Reed McMurtry, a sophomore, got some playing time last year. Uh, but uh, So we'll see how he's going to be able to, uh, to line up at quarterback to start this year. And so uh, lots of questions. We'll get lots of answers tonight. So once again, we're glad you joined us. And Dibble's going to punt here, fourth and eight. Ball on the ground. Oh, he's going to get sacked. He is sacked. That's number 33. Carson Littlejohn, the freshman, comes out of nowhere and sacks him. Fantastic special teams right there. That's off of a timeout from Dibble, and they still get wrapped up in the backfield, couldn't get the punt off, and they will start on the nine-yard line. It'll be first and goal. What a play by the special teams. And that's a great way to start this ball game for the Miko Bulldogs. Everything going their way right now. Like I said, Reed McMurtry, quarterback. Number 12, Jackson Pate, is going to be your running back. Try to get him to go off sides. We talked about that a lot last year. And once again, there they are, first play, first play trying to get him off sides. And so he's going to pull it, and he's going to rip it over to number 10, Ben Birchfield, and that is a touchdown, Bulldogs! And right off the bat, Rigman Merktree with a laser to Ben Birchfield and scores the touchdown. Nice little slant and put it right in the pocket. And Ben Birchfield with six points from Reed McMurtry. And it just took one play. One play. And we've got six. So holding. Number 85 is going to kick. Number 11, uh, Clayton Hughes is going to hold it. Got the kick down. It's up off to the side, and he missed it. So that will be 6-0 to zero for your Bulldogs. What a start. Nice little play fake. They bit on it, and just a laser on that slant. And that was an easy touchdown. So great defensive stand. Special teams made a play. Offense made them pay. And so that's a good way to start right there from your Minko Bulldogs. So six to nothing, 10 minutes, 15 seconds left in this first quarter. And so we got a little bit of an answer there, didn't we? And just uh, you don't have to block very, line, very long from your offensive line if you're going to get rid of that ball that quick. <laughs> so making it easy on the offensive line, I love that from the coaches to make that kind of play call. I, was just, I just knew they were going to run the ball, and I think Dibble thought the same thing, and they did not do it. And so we'll get back to a kickoff here from Will Holding. Man, just lots of good plays there. Only thing that went wrong was missed the kick, just went off the side of his foot. So 10 minutes, 15 seconds, 6 to nothing, Bulldogs. See on the camera? See, it's got all the, see how it's widening all that? That's so it's on that camera. I don't know how to get that off. I, I think it's, I don't know how to use I think it might have to do with the setting on the camera. And so he's going to be tackled down at the 30-yard line. Good special teams once again. Good kick once again. We're still working out some kinks. If we see if we could get Mr. Sims on a microphone, and so, uh, but not yet. So we'll see if we can get him in sooner or later. Maybe not tonight. It might just be me. So the Bulldogs come out on defense again. Second opportunity here. 
Dibble wasn't able to move the ball at all, and so we'll see how they can do this time. Their starting quarterback is number 12, uh, Eli Reimer. And he's the one that's untested there. The quarter, uh, the running back, number 24, uh, Jag Norman. There's your good name, Jag. Jag Norman. And he's going to pull it. He's going to pass. And great play. Was almost picked off. Number one, Dylan Warden with a fantastic jump on that. He read it. And, man, he got there quick to knock it down. Didn't No pass interference. Got around him. I think that helps. He, he played a lot of basketball. It looked like a little basketball play right there, right? Use the other hand, knock it down. <laughs> so this is his first year to play football, and he's making a great play right there. And so thanks, Coach Hill. Thanks for teaching him how to get his hand around there because that paid off right there. And so second down and 10. Down to 10 minutes for this uh, first quarter. Looks like uh, Jag. That's right. <laughs> Number 24. Jack Norman's back there. And they're going to hand it off to him. He's going to get quite a few yards, gets around the corner. Wasn't able to turn him in. He got about, oh, he got about seven right there, maybe eight. Yeah, eight. Looks like it's going to be third down or second down and, or yeah, third down and two. Oh, we got a penalty on the play. It looks like a holding. And so they're going to run that one back. I did not see the flag over here on the left side. And so that'll move it back. So that'll be second down again. So it'll be second down and 15. Second down and 15 for the Dibble Demons. Finally got something as they made it around the corner over there on the on the left side, but a penalty behind. So maybe that's why he was able to get out on that left side. Maybe there was a holding right there. And so second down, 15. This is what you want from the for the Miko Bulldogs defense. You want them to get long. Little motion. He's going to hand it off on that sweep. To, able to turn it in. Nobody's there. Oh, puts his head down. But Ben Birchfield's ready to wrap him up and takes him down. He's going to get a gain of about eight. So it's going to be third down and, well, no, maybe a gain of seven. It's going to be third down and eight. Third down and eight here. As we roll down to nine minutes and 38 seconds in this first quarter. So third down and long. This is exactly what you want to do as a defense and see if you can get out again three and out. And so coach had a question if it was third down. It is. And now he rinds the clock. He's going to hand it off to 24. That's Jag again. He's going to get around the corner, but he's met by quite a few. That looks like number – what number are you? Turn around there. Number 60, oh, uh, Joel Lara, Lara. And he was able to wrap him up. Good job by that linebacker. That was one of my – I was wondering about the linebackers, if they were going to be able to get side to side like they did so well last year. And uh, these two are doing just that. He got right over there. So fourth down and five. We'll see if they're going to try to punt again. It was unsuccessful last time. And so let's see what they do. Oh, they're going to go ahead and go for it. Really surprising. They're only on the 35-yard line. They're trying to get an offsides. Maybe he's the punter anyway. Yep, he's going to punt it. They went ahead and gave it to their athlete and let him do it. They're going to let that thing bounce. Gets a good roll. So pretty good punt by the quarterback. Gets it all the way down to the 24-yard line. And it'll be Bulldog football. Well, we got to see them on one play. We'll see what they do now on a, a longer drive. And so we'll get an official timeout as we switch sides. Eight minutes, 39 seconds, six to zero. Let me change that on your – make sure we get that on your scoreboard there. Sorry about the clock. I can't, I can't do all. So I'll just try to update you as I say it. Man, it is so much fun to be back here with you. Uh, watching some Minko football, watching these Bulldogs play, and I am uh, I'm excited to do this this season again. Excited to get to uh, call these games, and so we're glad that you're watching with us. I hope you'll join us throughout the season and be able to watch this. I know some uh, come back and watch a little bit later. I, I had some football players last year watch it after, and so uh, love that. Love that they're getting to watch that. Love that they're getting to hear the call. And so, man, I'm excited for some Minko football. I'm looking looking forward to some more playoffs this year. 
And so, love the start. And so we'll get going here in just a moment. Well, the second drive for this offense of the Bulldogs. The first one was one play and a score as the Reed McMurtry threw it to Ben Birchfield for a quick slant and scored the touchdown. All right. And let's see. Try to get you a few more players, see if we can get some. So uh, we got out on the receivers. Ben Birchfield, number two, number one, Dylan Warden. He's on, they're on the left side. McMurtry's going to pull. He looks to pass. Nobody there. Little run pass option. We call that an RPO. And they're going to hurry up, looks like. Pick up the pace here. So on the other side of the field is number 11, and that is Clayton Hughes, and number 85, Will Holding. So that's your receivers. Number 12, Jackson Pate is your running back. He's going to get the handoff. Good move as he cut outside. He's got a little bit of room. He's going to get the first down and a little bit more. He's going to get all the way to the 37-yard line, and so that'll be enough for a Bulldog first down. And that'll move the chains. So first and 10, nice job right there. Uh, let me see if I can get your line here. Looks like right tackle is number 73. That's uh, Eli Kirkus, and I'll try to work it down. Uh, looking for the pass. He's going to get Birchfield. He's open. Oh, right off the edge of his hands, just a tad too far. But I love the opportunity. Ben Birchfield just flew past that defender and almost just dove with all he had but couldn't quite pull it in. And I know they'll get that connection as it goes on. And so Kirkus is the right tackle, number 65. Garrett Grants is your right guard, number 75. Luke Clement is your center, number 53. Uh, Zach Willman is your left or left guard, and number 70, Bryce Williams is your left left tackle. And up the middle, met quickly, and he's going to get maybe half a yard there. That's a good penetration there by the defense to get in the backfield there. So it's going to be third down and nine as we roll down to seven minutes, 45 seconds of this first quarter. So third down and long. Had a good chance to connect with Birchfield just out of his reach. So we'll see what they can do on third down. It's probably two down territory, I would think, maybe, but we'll see. And Reed gets this. McMurtry gets the play. There's going to be motion. He's going to pitch it out to him, but oh, the Dibble Demons were ready for that play. And that's going to be a big loss. That's going to move it all the way back to the 30 yard line. And that will make it, oh, five, six, seven, seventeen. So fourth and 17. And I bet you punt now. So tried a little jet sweep coming across. Uh, but he got, they saw that coming all the way, and they dove quickly on it. And so they'll have to punt. Looks like Reed McMurtry will be punting for the Bulldogs. Uh, number 21 for the Dibble Demons, Lane Lesser, is back there for the Demons. Everybody's in. Oh, going to call a timeout. <laughs> and so the role is reversed. Uh, this is the first game. This is what happens on the first game. You practice, practice, practice. You scrimmage, you scrimmage, you scrimmage. Uh, but it comes down to getting all the players out on special teams, moving back and forth. Some come out, some come in. Uh, this is what will happen. And so I know Coach isn't happy. He's like, we've talked about this, talked about this. You drill it. Uh, and then the guy doesn't get out there in time, and so you got to call timeout. So both have to do that. Both teams have had to do that. And so hopefully we'll do a little better because when Dibble had to do that, they were sacked. They weren't able to get the punt off. So hopefully we'll get this punt off and uh, let our defense come out and do what they've been able to do so far, which is no first downs. The defense has played well so far. Wanted to see how they would do there. I, I, I told you I was wondering about the offensive line, how they might play. They're going to have to really uh, gel together. Uh, they had some longtime starters last year that aren't here now. And so they're going to have to kind of figure things out, make sure they get a helmet on a helmet. Good snap. McMurtry gets it away, gets it up. Good hang time. I'm going to catch it and run. He's going to find the corner. Nobody's over there. Finally gets tackled out of bounds by number 12. That's Jackson Pate, the senior, was able to wrap him up, but not until he got all the way back to the Bulldog. What is that, 43-yard line? 
the Bulldog 43-yard line. And so good punt all the way down to the 35-yard line, but 5, 10, 15, 20, 22-yard return for the Dibble Demons. And so it gives the Dibble Demons the first time to have good field position. So the defense is really going to have to step up here. So at the 44-yard line, sorry about that. And so a 44-yard line of the Bulldogs, six minutes, 30 seconds left in this first quarter. Uh, three and outs on the first two drives for Dibble. So the defense has done their job. We'll see what they do this time. Got two in the backfield, three receivers. Got the count. Little misdirection, little counter. Good little tackle there by... Who is that? Lara, once again, number 60, sticks his head in at the linebacker, fills the hole well, and is able to drop him for just a gain of three. Good job by the linebacker, Lara. Now, Lara's a senior, so we love to see that from our seniors. He's really – he had a lot of a lot of playing time last year, was able to uh, kind of back up and have him play, and so with injuries, different things. So he's got a lot of experience. But when he's coming out to play tonight, he's already made quite a few tackles. Love to be able to call those seniors' names as they come out and play hard in this first game. So second down, and we got a timeout. A ball exchange. The wrong ball. Each team has their own football. And who wants to play with the other team's football? All right, second down, seven yards. We're going to try this little, that's an interesting little play there. And he's going to be able to get quite a few. That's number 22 on the tackle, Carter Pate. He's a sophomore. And so you're seeing one running back come through and the other running back come the other way, kind of like an X right in front of the quarterback. And so he can hand it to either. So really going to have to pay attention to the ball as linemen and linebackers to see where that ball is going. So far, it's the second guy getting the ball. But you're going to have to be really disciplined on both sides of the line, not, not, not sure where that's going to be when they have two uh, next to the quarterback. This time they're going one behind. He's going to hand it off right up the middle. He has got a lot of room to run. He just runs over number 22, Carter Pate, but it, able to bring him down in a big game. But there is a flag in the backfield, and it is holding. And so that will come back, and that's exactly what the Bulldogs needed because it was wide open. So evidently one of those Dibble Demons pulled somebody down, and that's why there was such a big hole. That makes sense, right? No way would Miko allow him that big of a hole, only with holding. <laughs> and so that will move 10 yards back from the spot of the foul. And so that will make this third down and long. So that's exactly what, it, what we wanted. That was third and one, and so now we're going to be third and 11. Third and 11, five minutes left in this first quarter. They're going to go four wide. The running back with the uh, quarterback, number 24, is Jag Norman. And they're going to look out to the left. There's a little button hook. He's open. It looks like he's going to catch it. That's number 10, Trevor Christensen. He catches the ball for about five yards, maybe, yeah, about five yards. So it looks like it's going to be fourth down and six. So Dibble knew they were going to go for it, just trying to get a chunk of yards to get this a little bit closer. So fourth down, six, four minutes, 25 seconds left in this first quarter. Defense is playing well. See if they can come up with a stop here and uh, get a turnover on possessions. So once again, one running back behind. He's going to hand it off. There's no room. They get him down. That's number three and number 33, number three, Ashton Taylor, number 33, Carson Littlejohn, able to get that tackle and bring him down. And that'll be a turnover on possessions. It is first down, Bulldogs. Great job by uh, the defense there to bring him down. He gave it all he could to try to get across that line, but he did not make it. And you can tell Dibble doesn't want to throw the ball. They'd rather run the ball. And so far, the Bulldog defense is up to the task. So four minutes left in this uh, first quarter. Bulldog offense back on the field. Reed McMurtry at quarterback. He's going to hand it off. Nice little move. There's a face mask. So we're going to get more out of that. Number 12, Jackson Pate, the senior, get the ball. Nice little jump cut up the middle and was able to get around. They had to grab a helmet to try to pull him down. 
Personal foul, face mask. So that'll be 15 yards. That'll move the ball all the way to the 45-yard line of the Demons. And that helps. So we'll say thank you very much for the extra 15 yards. So first down and 10 on the 45-yard line. Three minutes, 55 seconds. McMurtry and Pate. There's Warden in motion. There's that jet sweep. He's going to try to make the corner. Tries to break the tap tackle and does not. That's number number 10 for the Demons. That's Trevor Christensen. He was able to bring him down. He's a junior. So that's the second time we've tried the jet sweep. And the second time it's gone backwards. Not getting that corner blocked over there. I don't know quite who's missing. I'll try to watch it next time. But the the Demons are able to get through, get penetration, and get a tackle for a loss. So second down, 14. That was a loss of four. Motion. There's a pass to Holding. Oh, he's got it. He's to the 15, 20, 15, 10. A little block by Warden. A touchdown, Bulldogs. Another little slant pass from McMurtry over to Will Holding, the senior, and he's able to take it to the house. The quarterback was nowhere close, whiffed, and he just took it to the house, no problem, with a little help from Warden at the very end. And so McMurtry is able to have two passes for a touchdown now, and we love to see that. It is 12-0, Bulldogs. And so Will Holding will come out after he catches the touchdown and runs for, oh, I don't know, 47 yards there. He's going to try to put the extra point in. Gets it down and kicks it straight up in the air, but it is through. And so that extra point is good. So now it is 13 to 0. The defense is playing great. The offense is moving the ball. And that slant pattern is working on both sides of the field. Ben Birchfield with the first one. Will Holding with the second one. Nice little about seven yard slant. Caught it and took off. And they could not keep up with the speed of the Bulldogs. And so great job by the offense. Good blocking by the offensive line. Made sure to get everybody, nobody through. And, man, McMurtry had a great pocket. And he, I remember his laser last year. He's got quite the arm. Boy, he can really, he can really chunk it. And so good tight spiral right there. And he's right on the money. You can tell they've been working on it quite a bit. And so uh, Will Holding didn't have to stop at all. It was run full blast, catch it, and keep going. And so great job by the Bulldogs right there. So, three minutes left in this first quarter. Your Bulldogs are 13. Let me update the score. I'll do that as well. So, 13 to 0. And this is what we like to see for the first game of the year. And so, we'll come out to kick for the third time in this first quarter. Man, what a great start for the Bulldogs. This is good stuff. Good stuff. Love to see this. Man, I, I, I've watched a lot of football a lot of different places. Um, and These coaches do a really good job. I mean, they are prepared. The Bulldogs are prepared. They're doing well. Uh, that is a kudos to the coaches, the coaching staff, man. Good fundamentals, doing everything right, knowing what to do, knowing what your players can do and putting them in a good position. I know it comes down to the Jimmys and the Joes, but uh, the coach has got to get them in the right spot. And so there's a kick. It'll go down to about the 23-yard line. It's picked up by the Demons. He's going to try to find the corner. Warden misses. Birchfield gets a hold and almost gets him, and then number five finishes it up. And that's Reed McMurtry finally put him down. Or no, that was number six, sorry. Number six, Gavin Johnson, the senior, was able to finally bring him down after Birchfield began to trip him up. And so the defense will come back out. Looking good. I see some hands on the hips. <laughs> First action. Are you in shape or not? Man, number three, Carson Littlejohn, freshman, coming back out. I love that the freshman's getting in there as a linebacker. If you'll remember, we said Littlejohn a lot, a lot last year, but this is the brother. So shotgun once again for the quarterback. He's going to look to run. He's finding some room. He's got some room. Hit hard by number 22, Carter Pate, the sophomore. 
put a hat on him right there, but lots of room to run as they were – everybody was blocking. That's the hard part. Can you get past one of your blockers on those kind of plays when every running back and receiver, everybody is blocking? That means uh, it's going to be hard to get to that quarterback. And so somebody's got to beat a block. Somebody's got to come off a block and be able to put – a hand on the quarterback and uh, didn't happen there. So big gain. So first and 10 from the 50 yard line for the Dibble Demons. Hadn't said his name yet. Isaac Oaks is a senior. He he definitely held up that side of the line. And that's what you got to have over there is uh, hold up that side of the line so somebody else can make a play. And so we got a flag on the play. I believe it was holding because not, not only did Isaac Oaks keep the line of scrimmage, keep the line, hold the line there so it had to bounce out. By the time he tried to make the play, put his arm there, uh, the lineman tackled him and put him on the ground, and that's a holding. You can't you can't tackle on the offensive side. You can't on the defensive side, but you cannot on the offensive side. That'll be a hold. And so that moves him back. So it is first down and a whole bunch, uh, about a 20. First down to 20. Quarterback's going to have it. See if somebody can get off a block. He's finding the corner. Birchfield gets him down as he finds the corner. Gets about nine yards right there, maybe ten. Looks like, uh, yeah, ten yards. So it'll be second and ten, I believe. So big chunks right now. That's three, three plays on this drive where they're getting big chunks of yardage over on the left side, not even looking at the right side of the field. And so it's tough when that quarterback runs because every running back, everybody's blocking. And so somebody's got somebody to get off one of those blocks and cause some disruption, make them turn it to the sideline so somebody else can tackle. You don't want them going north and south. So here's that two running back set, and they're going to call a timeout. Timeout, 50 seconds, 56 seconds left in this first quarter. 13 to 0. Your Minko Bulldogs have really dominated this game so far. Uh, Dibble finally putting some sort of drive together. Finally getting some chunks of yardage. And so they'll call a timeout. They've got a second and 10. And so we'll see. Uh, like I said, I, w I was interested to see what the defensive line could do. Uh, they had some good players last year that moved on. And uh, so a lot of new folks up on that defensive line. And so we'll see how they're able to play the rest of this game as they continue on down in the trenches. It just gets harder down in the trenches as the game goes on. And so we'll see if they can hold the point of attack. Let's we'll see if they can get this, uh, get these running backs and quarterbacks going sideline to sideline and not north and south. And that way your linebackers can fill the gaps or your defensive backs can come up and make the tackle. And so that's what you want to do there on the ends and there on the defensive line. Hold that point of attack. Make it go to the sideline. So we'll see if they can do that. Dibble's finally finding something here on this drive at the end of the first quarter. So they're going to go with this two running back set. That's that's Mr. Jag, uh, Jag Norman. And then the other running back is, I think it was number 21, Lane Lesser. Uh, Dibble hadn't been able to throw the ball yet. They've completed just one pass. So most of this has been running. They're going to make the motion go over to the left side. That's where they want to run. They're going to hand off to Jack Norman, and he's hit hard and brought down. Nicely done by Lara. And hit him hard, put him on the ground. So just a gain of, oh, three yards. So it's going to be third and seven. Good job by Lara. That's what you want to do as a linebacker. You want to be able to get free, and you want to hit that hole quickly. And he did his job right there. So hopefully they're figuring some things out. So third down and long, third down and seven. 30 seconds left. They're going to have to get one more playoff before this first quarter is done. See if they can get another tackle for a loss here. That would be great right here. Really bunch set there. Under the center, he's going to hand off the middle, and there is absolutely nothing. <laughs> nothing at all. Number 75, Luke Clement. That is how you hold the point of attack. Boy, the defensive line. Stepped up right there on that point of attack. It didn't let him go anywhere. They had that, got under the center for the first time, was close to the line, and they weren't able to do anything with that. And so it'll be fourth down and six on the th touchdowns. One was for about eight yards, and the other was for about 40-something yards. 
And so Ben Birchfield, Will Holding, able to get the two touchdowns. And so the offense is looking good. Reed McMurtry, the sophomore quarterback, he's been able to throw the ball well, see the ball, uh, the field well. I love that the coaches are not asking too much. And so doing quick things. Uh, we had a deep pass just off the fingertips. So I like what I'm seeing so far. I think you like what you're seeing so far from these Bulldogs. And so the last few years that I've watched this Dibble game against Miko, it has been tight, tight, tight. It has been tough, tough, tough. And it has been defense, defense, defense. And so far, Miko is living up to that. But the Dibble defense hasn't been able to stop the Bulldogs yet. And so we'll get going here in just a moment. 13-0. It'll be a fourth down. One, two, three, five, six, seven, fourth down and seven. So they, they uh, that third down play was just a stop for nothing. And so they didn't get anywhere. Held the line. That was really, really good by the Bulldogs up front. And so fourth down and seven. We've had a turnover on downs once before, and so we'll see if we can get another turnover on downs. And so as we get ready for this, let's see. They've been running. They haven't really been able to. They've only completed one pass. And so we got Mr. Sims. He's got a. He's going to try something. We might. We might be able to get. A color guy on here, and not just the play-by-play. -play. He's going to throw it. He's had to throw it quickly. It hits the ground. Incomplete pass. That was Dylan Warden come flying in on a blitz. And he threw his hands up and wasn't able to do it. So that'll be a turnover on downs. Once again, the defense is just dominating right now. And so the offense will come back out with a 13-0 lead. It'll be first down and 10 on the 35-yard lines of the Bulldogs. Is this it? It'll work. Yeah. How's that? Go ahead. Hello, hello. There you are. I'm on. You're on. Well. It's, so we have Mr. Sibbs has joined us. Here's Birchfield. He's going to try to find. He's open. He's got him. He's down to the 25 to 20, 15. He's rumbling, stumbling down to the 10-yard line. Huge play from the 35-yard line all the way down. And McMurtry and Birchfield connect on that. And I got a feeling we might say that a lot this year. What a pass. What a connection. Great connection. What's even better, they're both sophomores. <laughs> yeah, that's right. It's going to be three years of this. That's Very right. Oh, Ben Birchfield turns on the Jets and just gets past him. And Murtry, what an arm. He got it out there, and they connected well. So first, what do we got? First and 10 from the 11-yard line. Yeah, about the 11. This won't necessarily put them away, but i tell you what, a score right here puts their, their backs against the wall. They are dominant. Looking again to pass. Going to get it. Oh, and it's dropped. That's number 11, Clayton Hughes. Uh, I think he's he's also a sophomore. And sometimes as a sophomore, when you hear the footsteps on that first play of the year, trying to make your first catch, your eyes might look upwards, huh? That is exactly right. And so... Incomplete pass there. McMurtry, man, they're throwing the ball quite a bit. I was I kind of thought it would be a heavy dose of running, but it's been it's been pretty equal, maybe even tipped a little to the passing game. Yes, you know, I'm gonna tell you something. If we I would not be surprised to see a reverse or something like that today to expose some speed. We have some speed out there. Uh, number twelve, Jackson, he he can run the ball pretty well. There we go. He's gonna find the corner. He's gonna and, uh, Oh, there's a flag. A it's a touchdown, but I think we're gonna get a hold out on the left side. And it is. Oh, uh, man, that was a nice little cut as he hit the outside, went for the end zone, but going to have a holding call, so that will bring it back 10 yards. Been really impressed with our speed. Uh, we were speedier than yes. – uh, a little bit quicker than uh, Dibble tonight. To, uh, definitely to our advantage. Absolutely, absolutely. And How so did we the, score the second touchdown because I was gone? Uh, Will time. Holding uh, got the second touchdown on a slant, caught the ball and hit him on the money on the run, and he just took off for the end zone. And so had about a 45-yard, 47-yard touchdown on a slant. So second and 20 from the 21-yard line. I'm going to look to pass. He's looking for number 85 holding. Oh, right over his head. But I think there might be interference. Could be. I think he tugged right in the back as he was trying to go. Maybe that's why he couldn't catch it. And so that is. So that will go to a first down. 
I've been impressed with our foot, our line tonight. Give us some, our read some protection. You know, I, I, I thought coming in here it's going to be a tight ball game, mm -hmm. and the Lions were going to win this sucker, and uh, maybe it's proven true. I think so, so far. We've, we've, we've kind of dominated on both sides. And so that'll be – this should go to a first – well, you know what? I'm not going to say that yet. It might not be a first down yet. Uh, nope. Okay, so second down. So it's uh, second down and 10. Down, I, I think in high school it's not. Try to get them off sides. Didn't work. Down to, let's see, what are we at? We're at right at 11 minutes left in the second quarter, left in this first half. So second down and 10. And look at their, nope. Oh, nice play. And there's number 11, Clayton Hughes. Touchdown, Bulldogs. Another slant and another touchdown. I think that's working all day. It is, and i tell you something. Reed can rifle that ball <laughs> right in there. That's an impressive. It is a laser. And Clayton Hughes, the sophomore, Reed McMurtry just passing it around, giving it to everybody. Everybody gets a chance to score a touchdown tonight. And so Will holding out to kick for the extra point. Got the last one, missed the first one. High snap, got it down, kicked, and good. That was and good so we points. are that 20 was, to 0. That was a high snap on that sucker. That it was, was a good play by the holder in the uh, – So Clayton Hughes not only scored the touchdown, but was able to bring that <laughs> snap down and put the hold down so we could get it through. So 20 to 0 for the Bulldogs. And, man, Reed McMurtry already with three touchdown passes, one to Will Holding, one to Ben Birchfield, and one to Clayton Hughes. And so he is sharing the love. Sharing the love, and I think uh, – you know, our two of our starting running backs are out. Yeah, um, injury already. Yeah, Jake Carruth, I talked to him and uh, had his knee scoped. He'll be back in about three or four weeks. Oh, so that's good. good that's good news. Uh, I'm not sure about Hunter Mullinax. He, he had a pretty nasty break in his calf, uh, part of his leg. And um, I'm not sure. What, but i tell you what, watch out for Carson Littlejohn tonight. I think he's going to get some action at okay. running back. And, uh, well, he's already played some good defense, I can tell has. you that. He's strong. He's try yes, yeah. As a freshman, he's already uh, he was already making some tackles out there, and so there we go, man. The Miko Bulldogs are dominating this game right now, twenty to zero. Ten minutes and fifty three seconds left in this first half, and they are winning on every single side of the ball: offense, defense, and special teams. Uh, everybody making plays, and so to me. That just screams great job, coaches. Way to get them prepared. Way to get them ready to play. And, man, these, these, these students are coming out and putting it together. By the way, there's even a really good student section over there. They're all in neon. You can't miss them over there. And they're we, uh, getting after it, too. We recreated, if you will, or restarted the, the dog squad. And we've had several students sign up. I think tonight's neon night, looks like to me. Yeah, looks and, like uh, you can't miss them. You know, I tell you, you cannot – Football Fridays are the best. That's right. The school spirit is the best uh -huh. on Football Fridays. It was an exciting day. Had yeah, a great pep, pep rally. rally. Yeah. Uh, uh, kind of hot today. But yeah, I'll tell you yeah what, that's what I heard. It's been a great day. It's good stuff. And so Will Holding's going to just kick it out of bounds at the 35. That's reminiscent of last year. So the flags come up because that's you can't do that. He had tonight, Pastor Mike. I like pretty doggone I incredible. I like that one, and he's kicked the other ones down to about the 20-yard line, 22-yard line. So, but kicked that one out of bounds. Not sure what they were trying on that one. I'm sure they had a good reason, and they're going to make a re-kick it. So when it goes out of bounds like that, you get the option. You can take it to the, I believe the 40-yard line, yeah. or you can have him re-kick it. Maybe the 35, well, 35 or 40. I'm not sure. Yeah, Maybe so. And, uh, and so you get that option as the, uh, the team receiving the ball. You can make them re-kick it, or you can take it at the 35 or the 40-yard line. I can't High school, college, and pro have completely different rules, and so it's always hard to get that straight. I'll get it straight about game four, all right? I promise. Yeah. <laughs> I honestly think the chances of getting an NFL game are pretty slim. <laughs> and there's yeah, a kick down the middle. That's going to hit the ground. You're going to have to get on it, and they do. And so uh, I think it ends up to about where it was going to be no matter what. And so the Dibble Demons will start at the 35-yard line. They'll have a first and 10. They got a few chunk plays on the last drive, but the defense uh, tightened up and was able to get a turnover on downs. That's twice they've been able to do that, turn them over on fourth down. And so we'll see 
if the defense can continue to do this, boy, I'm liking what I'm seeing. How about well, we, you? you know, I am, too. And we've got some youth uh, on that defensive line right there. Uh, number 58, Isaac Oaks is the only senior on that line, and the rest are sophomores. Yeah, so that's great. A lot of youth on this team. They're playing pretty well tonight. Yeah, absolutely. Really helps you. And when the line can uh, dominate, boy, it helps those linebackers sure out a whole does. lot. Sure does. Got to be quick. And so quarterback, they've had some success with this. Finally wrapped up. I believe that was number three, uh, Ashton Taylor. He was able to grab a hold of the shoestring and get him down. That's what you got to do. You, whenever, whenever that quarterback's running, that means everybody else is blocking. And so you got to get off a block. You got to grab a shoestring, an ankle, something to get off that block to see if you can slow up that quarterback. And they did there for just a gain of three. So second down at seven. Defense did its job on the first down there. Just let him have a few yards. I hope the glare from the Dibble pants are not bothering anybody that's viewing this game tonight because those are the brightest pants I think I've ever seen. <laughs> those yellow <laughs> pants, yeah. They are yellow pants. They are. And so they're going to look to pass, and he's going to – nope, he's going to pull it down and run, and he's knocked out of bounds by number 33, Little John. The fresh, Yeah, freshman gets over there. He's got the speed and knocks him out of bounds. It's going to be a gain of – trying to see where they're going to uh, play. Is that a – about – Maybe a yard. Six, maybe, uh, yeah, a couple maybe yards there, five, so yeah. third and five. Got a couple yards on that. Great pursuit by Little John. Uh, that's what I love to see out of the linebackers. If if those uh, linemen do their job, that means things are going to go to the sidelines, and that means your linebackers have got to get there. And so sideline to sideline, they're getting there. So third down at five. They're going to get under the center this time. He's going to pitch it out for a little sweep. There's nowhere to go. He's dragged down by number three, Ashton Taylor, again. And that's yeah. going to be a gain of maybe a couple and get to fourth down. Good he pursuit. Stop on this fourth down and three. It's going to be huge. Uh, great field position unless they choose the punt here. I don't think they're going to. Uh, we could really back them in a corner in a yeah. four game here. Absolutely. And so good pursuit by the defense there. Everybody doing their job. Looks like they're going to try the same thing. They tried this before, and they got nothing out of it. So let's see maybe if they bootleg out of this. Nope, straight up the middle. He was able to get over him. Lara almost pulled him down but wasn't able to. And he kind of stumbled and fell forward and I believe got enough for a first down just by a little bit. There wasn't much there, but he got uh, it out he, of it. He, uh, he, he kind of wiggle his way through that. Kind of bounced on one leg and finally fell down and so couldn't quite get him out. Dibble definitely has a, some size as well. They're they're a pretty good yeah. size team, and uh, it's going to be a battle up front all night. Yeah. So they finally get a first down. They haven't had very many. I think that maybe their second or let's see. I'm going to go. I think that's their fourth first down. That's it so far in this first half. Yeah, that's defense so is dominating. Looks like we're going to have a timeout, Dibble. So they're going to talk about it. Eight minutes, 51 seconds left in this first half. It'll be first and ten for the Dibble Demons. 20 to zero. The Miko Bulldogs are playing excellent. Pastor Mike, while we're waiting here, I would like to say if you're watching this and you have a business or some type of company that you would like advertising it for, please contact me, Kevin Sims at the school, 352-4867, uh, or you can email me at ksims at minko.k12.ok.us. You can find all that on our website. But you can advertise on this site for Squirtle and uh, – it's a great way to uh, – it helps the school out. It also helps your business out. So if you're looking for advertising, give us a call, and we will connect you with the right people for advertising. Yes, we would love to do that. I think that may, means I'll that'll double my pay, right? Yes. So from zero to zero. <laughs> no, love doing this. Love getting to watch these games. Love watching these boys get after it and – uh, the fans are out. The students are out. I love that student section. That, that is fantastic. Yeah, it's, and so it's the band's great. over there as well playing. And uh, so, man, love yeah. Friday nights out on the big town. It is. And I see a lot of those softball players we saw last night out there. Ooh, Chinese boy, that's a team you want to watch. No kidding. That's a team you want to no watch. I, I tell you what, I haven't talked to you, but maybe Tuesday night. That game is going to be for the district championship. So then we might, we, we might yeah, we'll absolutely might do that. Man, it's fun to watch those softball girls. They can flat out play. I Hey, I looked at some records today. They might have a really good shot at yes. making a long run in the playoffs. So here's the quarterback. He's going to try to throw on fourth down. He just throws it up. 
And good defense. Yeah, good defense by Birchfield and Pate. Uh, Carter Pate, the sophomore, and Ben Birchfield, the sophomore, able to knock that down. He just heaved it up, got nothing out of it. They were there. This is what I remember from last year. Uh, Reed McMurtry was l locked down. I mean, by the end of the year, nobody wanted to throw it, even as a freshman. They haven't even looked his way. Ben Birchfield played quite a bit last year as well as a freshman, and, man, he is stepping up and playing really well. Nobody is open at all, and a good job by the free safety to knock it down. Carter, he played for the Hinton Comets last year. Uh, his, and, okay. Uh, he has some speed out there too. It, yes. Uh, we, Absolutely. Good so second to ten, that's going to be a play fake. Going to try to hit the little screen pass. Little John. Ooh! Oh, there's a ball on the ground. He's going to say he was down before he lost it. But good the freshman, Car Little John, lit him up. Boy, he hit did. him. That was a great tackle. And so a little screen pass out there, one on one. And Little John said, I know I'm a freshman, but I'm going to get you down no problem. Woo! One thing about the Minko Bulldogs. We're not afraid to hit. They, yeah. they, they're not right out. there. That was a great play. They're Love wrong. to see that from the freshman just stepping right in and making a play for the Bulldogs. So third down and eight. We're down to eight minutes, four seconds left in this first half. And we'll see if we can get another, maybe a tackle for a loss right here would be great. So they're going to hand it off. There's a flag on the play. Well, there's a big hole, and he's going to get a big chunk of yardage. I didn't. I think that was uh, number 22, Pate, there, that got him down. There was a flag, a and I'm not. shift in the backfield. I want to. Yeah, is that what they're? Yeah, they're going to call legal. Well, they're shift. looking over there. What's he call it? Yeah, legal shift. That's he's, a big. Penalty. He's gonna. Yeah, he's gonna talk to the referee. And it's not gonna work. Is that a legal shift or a legal procedure? Well, Which one is that? Kind of Which one is that? Either you lined up wrong or you moved and you weren't supposed to. I think it's it was uh, somebody in the backfield. Could have been. I think they might have lined up wrong there. So that's going to back them up five yards. So it's going to be third down and uh, one, two, 13. That's how you count, one, two, 13. That's right. <laughs> that, that was a – Big play by Dibbles. That, that yeah. Killer for Dibbles. And they've been able to get us some of those big chunk yards, so we'll see what the defense can do here. A little jet sweep here. Now they're going to hand it off. He's got some room. Little John's there. He's trying to drag him down. Man, another big play. Oh, there's ball on the ground. They're fighting for it. I don't yeah, know. Uh, they're Nico jumping and saying that way, but the referee's pointing down. the other way. And so the ball did go on the ground, so there was a fumble, but Dibbles able to cover it up. Little John on the tackle again, but, man, that was a – Another big chunk. That's 10 yards right there. Yeah, 10 I yards, so fourth won. down and three. They've Jack, been able they've been able to get it on that side. Jack Norman, number 24 for Dibble. He can run the football. Yeah, and, yeah. Uh, he and he was good last year. I would key in on him here on this play as well because I yeah. think he's going to get the ball. Yeah, you're going to watch him. Yeah, they're going to do this. Uh, the last two times they've gone right up the middle out of this formation. Oh, it's got him. Oh, he still got it off, but he's tackled anyway. Yeah. That's number one, Dylan Warden. Woo, was that Lara that came through the it middle? It was. What, what pursuit by that defensive line. That was beautiful. Man, Lara, the linebacker, blitzed right over the top because I knew it, they knew it, everybody else knew it. They were about to run up the middle, and he had his hands all over the quarterback and had a little reverse, but uh, there was Warden ready to take him down, and it was a loss, so that'll be a turnover on downs again. So that's the, what is that, the third or fourth time turnover on downs, give the Bulldogs the ball back. And so six minutes, 30 seconds left in this first half. First down and 10 for the Bulldogs. McMurtry and Pate, he's going to move out in motion. He's going to look for he's Birchfield. He's open, and, and, and he hits down. him on run. He's going to try to, oh, oh, and he finally down at the five-yard line, just trips him up, and that connection is spectacular. It is, it is spectacular. I'm going to tell you what, it's going to open up the running lanes here very shortly. <laughs> it's good. They can't impressive. keep up with Ben Birchfield. No. He is flying down the field. What a great little route, little little in and then up, a little in and up, a little slant, and then you go. So a little slant and go, and McMurtry puts it on the numbers. Boy, he's throwing dimes out there. So huge gain, first at goal. He's going to nice keep play. it. He's going to try to get out there. He's going to run over him. Doesn't quite make it in, down to about the one-yard line. He almost had it. 
I thought that was a good pull right there. Keep them honest. So it looks like a uh, two-yard line, looks like. So second down and two. So just goal. Second down and goal on the two. So he's going to hand it off to Pate. He's got one guy to miss, and he gets past him. So touchdown, number 12, Jackson Pate for the Bulldogs. And they are dominating this game right now. Great job by the offensive line right there, Mr. Sims. Great job. I'm going to highlight number 65 yeah. on the offensive line. He is a – he just moved in this year. His name is Garrett Grantz. His dad is Aaron Grantz, the pastor of the Methodist Church. All here right. They moved in from Meeker. He may be the smartest offensive line. No offense <laughs> to the others. Yeah. He is headed to OCU in Oklahoma City to uh, pursue a degree in law. Oh, look at that. So yeah. He's a pretty sharp kid. That's he, great. A uh, fine young man, great family. Good, good, good. Well, welcome. Welcome to them, to uh, Miko. We love having new people here. And so holding going to be very many incompletions, I, I think two or three. I would say that at the end of the night, uh, you look at Class A quarterbacks, his name is going to be at the top of the list <laughs> yeah. in passing yards. No yeah. Doubt. yeah, he's got to be up to about, oh, 125 yards in passing at least, maybe if not 150. And so, man, what a great job by the Bulldogs. Once again, kudos to the coaches to get them ready to play like this on this first game. And I don't think Dibble knows what's hits them uh, because – the last two years, it's been close. I mean, just battles the last two years down to the last quarter. And it was a well-coached football team by Coach Norman. And this is uh, not what I was expecting, but, hey, right now the Bulldogs uh, are dominating. They're dominating. Like you said, all three phases. Uh -huh. And um, turnovers and field position are key. We've dominated all that. Yeah, dominated everything. And the defense has played well. Offense playing well. That's clicking. And so Will Holding will step back to kick for the Bulldogs. Yeah, I, the only thing they haven't done is got a turnover yet. And so we'll see. What, oh, he's kicking it around. He's going to give it a shot. Birchfield tries to get him, misses him. He's, then he's brought down by a host of guys, number 28 and number 14. Number 28 is Tasher uh, Ruthart. And what did I say was the other one? 14? 14. Noah, Noah Johnson. Johnson. And so it looked like those two were in on the tackle. So good job by the special teams once again. Nowhere to go. I think Tasha Ruthart's another one that we're going to have to watch in the next few years. Mm -hmm. He's got some speed, good hands. Uh, we'll see a lot out of Tasha coming up yeah, here. Here's the deal about Minko since I've been here. They've just reloaded every year. They're ready to go. I watched the junior high game the other day, and they looked fantastic. They, wo they whooped Cashin, yeah, they whooped and that's not usually done to Cashin, no. uh, but they beat them 28-0. to zero. If you didn't get to see that one, I think Aid Aiden Brummel scored about uh, four touchdowns, I think. <laughs> scored it all. <laughs> and that was another McMurtry. That was the younger brother. Dason was throwing touchdowns. So here's the defense, first and ten. Five minutes, 30 seconds left of this first half. They're going to – Hand it off to Norman, and he's going to get, oh, a yard, maybe two. Way to contain. That was better, yeah, better pursuit right there. Ashton Taylor there for the tackle. And also number 70 was right there. That's Bryce Williams. He's a senior. He got out there and was helping on that play. You notice something about athletics? Success leads to, su to success. That's right. So if we start doing some things right, man, just more things are done right. Well, and it's, it's really fun yeah, it's not just football. It's it's everywhere. It is. All, all, all the athletics are really good. Ball on the ground. Oh, oh ball's still on the ground. We got that one. And I believe I just prophesied because I said the only thing we haven't done was a turnover. There we go. We recover a fumble. Bryce it's Williams. the Bulldogs football. Bryce Williams with the recovery. And literally, we have done everything right as the Bulldogs. And I think you're going to have to give me that one. I said it's the only thing. Maybe we'll do it right here. And it happened. Hey, how about that? So thanks for listening to me, defense. Really can uh, almost put this thing away. I yeah. didn't even say that. Uh, we're, this yeah. is uh, pretty incredible. We're going to get into the – we're going to get to see maybe some other players play at the end of this game if it continues to go this way. So it's on the 20-yard line. They're going to hand it off to Pate. He sees a little room in the middle. He's going to rumble and stumble down to about eight or nine yards there. They finally drag him down. He was not going down, was he? He is uh, a strong kid. Yeah, he's a good-looking good -looking running back right there. I'll tell you something, you know, speaking of that, the Ward Laws and our co-coaching staff, uh -huh. They, I mean, they work these boys. These boys work their tails off, and man, it's showing off tonight. Yeah, 
All summer, you, you don't play this way if you don't work this hard in the summer in the off season. You play this way because you've worked hard, and then you get to see the results. Yeah. So motion by Hughes, going to hand it off to Pate. He's going to try to get to the outside, see if he's got some speed. He breaks one tackle, finally brought down, but I think it's enough for a first down. It'll be close. I can't quite tell yet. yet. Uh, first and yeah, first down, just got enough. And so it'll be first down and goal from the 10. And hit him, and guess what? Somebody else has a touchdown. <laughs> yeah, and you know well Dylan I Warden. From, from basketball, Dylan's fast. If yeah, he gets out in the open, that's right. He's an athlete. He's an athlete. He's, he's a grinder, too. And so there's a touchdown for Dylan Warden, number one, holding out for the extra point. And that's a better kick, and that is through no problem. And, man, it is looking better and better and better. It is now 34 to 0. 34 to 0 in the first half. Who would have thought? Incredible. I, I can't yeah. believe it. And once again, there's somebody else. We've got Birchfield that scored a touchdown. We got Holding that scored a touchdown. We got Warden now that scored a touchdown. Clayton Hughes scored a touchdown. Pate scored a touchdown. Boy, the ball is getting shared around to everybody. And that is exciting, I think, for Miko Bulldog fans and the coaches to know that there's that many playmakers there out on the field. What? Yes. How about that luxury? Yes, uh, it's a luxury we'll take. I'll take that for sure. Yeah, well, last year, you know, I mean, we still had good athletes last year, but, you know, Overton had the ball a lot last year. He was kind of the main guy and really tried to get it to him a lot. And, and teams kind of begin to figure that out and it was trying to find some other playmakers. And, man, here today – Five different people have scored a touchdown, and so the Bulldogs are just looking impressive. Well, let's get some get scores of teams in the area. Yeah, let's do. Tuttle is up 14 nothing over Plainview. That's a pretty good lead. That's, that's a, a good big game. game for Tuttle. Yeah, that's a big uh, game. I think, see, Chickasha is down 26 to nothing to Parlo in the second quarter. I'm going to shift over here to Class yeah, they, A, and we'll yeah, get some scores in just a I think a sometimes bit. that's a struggle for Chickasha here lately. I think so. I'm from Duncan, so we used to play Chickasha all the time. They were We were in the same class back then. You know, Duncan so has a connection it to me it doesn't, this year. It doesn't hurt my feelings that Chickasha's losing. I understand. <laughs> <laughs> and there's another kick. It's going to be on the ground. They're going to field it that time. Make a little jump cut. Finally hit. Not brought down yet. Who is that? That's number 11, Clayton Hughes on the tackle. Nicely done. Wrapped him up around the ankles, wouldn't let him go. You know, Clayton is one of those kids that's deceptively good. He doesn't yeah. – I, I mean, he's just good. He, he just a sophomore. He, yes, yes. Yeah, just a sophomore. Uh, didn't play much at all. I don't think he played at all last year. Uh, but getting the shot as a sophomore, and he's coming up with some plays. And there he goes back out on the field. Give holding a chance. Some of our district opponents. Breather. Wayne is up on Walters, twenty-seven to nothing at halftime. Yeah, um, Wayne's Wayne's pretty good this year. Wayne's huh? good. So a couple of substitutions. Number twenty came in, Colton Mullings. Uh, also, Colton uh, is a freshman. Yeah. Who else came in there? Oh, Clayton Hughes came in. They're going to look to pass. There's a couple people open. He gets oh, their interception. Number Bulldog football, number 22. Carter, Carter Pate. Pate. Roman in the center field back there, just playing free safety. And what a great move to the ball. We got some excitement on the sidelines, don't we? <laughs> what a great job. That's exactly what you do as the free safety. They were in a little zone. There was five receivers that went out, and so they had to play a little zone back there. And, man, did Pate do a great job as a free safety, just kind of floating back there, watching the quarterback's eyes. And he put it up the air, and he got to the ball quickly. And then the best thing about that is he caught the ball. He caught the ball. He <laughs> eyed that thing. He was watching that thing from the time it was thrown, and he timed it right. And, uh, man, got a fumble on the last drive, got an interception on this drive. I mean, everything is clicking for the Minko Bulldogs tonight and putting it on the it Dibble is. Demons. Man, this is fun stuff. This is fun it stuff. Is. Well, we're glad you've joined us, and you're getting to watch a good game. Uh, in fact, if you uh, if you have some uh, friends or family that might uh, be on the sidelines right now, you might get to see them here, here in the second half if it keeps going this way. I think so. So stay tuned. Don't go away. Stay with us because you might see get to see some other players get out and get after it. 
And so, man, what a great job. Another interception, two turnovers. Uh, everybody scored touchdowns. Defense is playing good. Offense is playing good. No sacks. Uh, man, just line, both football. lines are playing good. Yeah. Chris, Chris football. Line, it's, yeah. It's a lot of fun. So a lot of young guys. A lot of young guys. That's got to be he's exciting, huh? No, he's not. He stuck his head in there, though. So he's going to stay on the field. And they're going to run some time. We're down to three minutes, 12 seconds. We are full of youth. Yeah. Lots of good young talent. They're going to try again. Johnson's going to go right, put his head down, and he's met pretty quickly. He might get a gain of a yard. We don't go down easy, do we, Pastor? Nope, he's not going down. He put his head down. I think as we watched Pate, he's got a little jump cut to him. And Johnson hasn't figured out that jump cut yet or how to make a little move. He'll learn that. He's just a sophomore. But you know what? That was something we said a lot last year. If you joined with us last year, you heard us say often that, hey, these are a lot of young players getting some experience, and that's going to pay dividends, and we are seeing it right now. Yes, it is. Uh, and I mean, you don't look ahead for years. We're, we're obviously in this season. The boy looks pretty good for the next few years. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's right. That's right. Right. So two minutes, 17 seconds left in this first half. McMurtry at quarterback. He's looking to throw the ball. Uh-oh. Oh. Ooh, a little wide receiver screen. Glad that one was dropped by the double lineman. That was a yeah. touchdown. They were ready for that one. Took a little too long to develop. When he threw that across the body, uh, it was uh, they were they were picking up what Minko was putting down there. So got lucky with no interception. It'll be fourth down. Fourth down and nine. I don't know that we're going to punt here. We might do a quick kick. Watch for a quick kick. Yeah. Uh, two, two minutes, nine seconds left in this first half. I don't think they're going to go for it, but they may be going for it faster. I don't know. Looks like they're going to call a timeout. That's yeah. what they're going to do. So Miko will call their second timeout. You know, I, I, it's something. I, uh, I don't know how many penalties we have, if any. We're playing clean football. Uh, yeah, I think so. I think we've had, I think, one. I think one, maybe. I think we had one holding, maybe, and that was it. Other than that, uh, yeah, pretty clean game for the Bulldogs, which, once again, uh, goes, to, goes to show you how prepared they are. And so it'll be fourth down and nine, or a long eight, whichever one you want to say. Two minutes and nine seconds. I would, I would think, if I was coaching, I would kick this ball and pin them deep. I That's what I would do. And, uh, but I don't. I'm not down there making the calls, nor am I smarter than them. I, they're smarter than me. So. I believe we're going to kick. <laughs> I believe the punt's coming, and uh, I think that's the right call. Yes. Now, I'm saying that. I want you to get a first down here on a pass play, but uh, I think that uh, what our defense is controlling, I don't, I don't see any need to go for it. I don't either. Defense has played excellent. The last two drives have ended on turnovers. We recovered a fumble and yeah, had an interception. We're, yeah, we're going to punt the ball. All right. So last time it was a good good snap last time as we punted. This will be the second punt of the evening for Minko. Reed McMurtry is going to be the one that's kicking. Of course, it's kind of cool when your quarterback's a punter. I mean, it uh, yeah. gives you a few options. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, when you're an athlete, you're an athlete. You do a little yeah. bit of everything, right? I wouldn't know about that, Pastor Mike. <laughs> I, uh, I never have been called an athlete in my life. I promise you that. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> All right, and there's a nice snap again. Good punt again. And he's going to oh. drop it, and they're going to recover it. No, oh, oh Dibble yeah. comes away with it just Let barely. I thought we had it. Was that Warden on the ground? No, who was that? Number Oh, Birchfield, he almost had it. Couldn't quite bring it in. So Dibble's going to end up with the ball, but, man, once again, that was a good snap. That was a fast snap right back to the punter. Man, that makes life much easier to get that punt away. And so that ball will be on the 25-yard line. There's two minutes exactly left in this first half. Birchfield's going to limp off a little bit. Need to. Looks like he got a helmet into the hip. That one hurts. And so Johnson's going to come in for him. We'll see if Dibble saw that. They might come this way with 14 coming in and Birchfield coming out. They've been doing it. Birchfield and Reed McMurtry have been locked down on the corner so far. They're going to hand it off to Norman. He is met quickly. And that was Lara that was right there immediately in number 53. 
Zach Wilman came in to clean up as well. And so Laura, well, heck of a game. Oh, well, Laura. He's starting to feel it. He's starting to, he's starting to say, hey, I can, I can do this. I can play varsity football. And so we're down to 55 seconds. They're just letting the clock roll. First and 10 on the 39-yard line. Really Demons. surprised they're not playing with a little bit more urgency here, Pastor, on that. Now the quarterback's going to run. He's going to find a oh, hole. Oh. Pate tries to hit him. He does get him out of uh, maybe out of bounds, or was that 11 finally did? I, so Clayton Hughes finally got him out of bounds. Number 11 like. is little yeah, Clayton, Clayton Hughes. Hughes. Yeah. I think Clayton got a little stinger or something, some type of, uh, well, I don't think it's a stinger. Yeah. I think it's something else. I think we just call that unfortunate. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> He's he going to come out. Sing. Holding's going to come back in. He yeah. might be able to sing in an opera yeah. to, to here in a little bit. Birchfield's still over here on the sidelines. I was, I was trying to look for him. Uh, they're going to run again with the quarterback. They're going to string it out this time. Nicely done. Did he and stay in bounds or did he get out of bounds? Looks like Little John put the hit on him. So that'll be second down. We're down to 34 seconds. He must have – did he go out of bounds there? Must have went out of bounds. Must have went out of bounds. Yeah. I, his foot must have gone out. Interesting play calls by Dibble here on this yeah. drive. Well, they don't want to throw it. Uh, no, they, they can't. Our secondary is too flipping good I, right now. Yeah, I think they've completed one pass, uh, then threw an interception, and so they've had a couple of drops. and So maybe maybe two, two or three passes tops they've completed. I was surprised with uh, Johnson coming out for Birchfield that they might try something over, but they haven't. And so they're going to be in a bunch formation. They're going to find one. Oh, he was hit as he thrown, but it's a good pass. And Johnson gets him down, but not before he could catch it. And it's down all the way to the 25-yard line. They finally kind of took advantage of what I was wondering about with Birchfield out. And so Johnson was there, but wasn't fast enough to get a hand on it. And so he's going to spike it, and that's going to be down to 20 seconds. Dibble has no timeouts, so that's their only option. So it'll be back second, in. second down and 10, and that's great to see for the Bulldogs. And Noah did a good job there. Actually yeah, he was right there on his pocket. And yeah. he uh, got him down, and there was no touchdown on that play. Yeah, that was, a, that, was a, that was an interesting formation. It was a bunch formation, so kind of like a tight end coming out. That's tough to, uh, uh, for a sophomore, sometimes tough to figure out if you haven't seen that. But he got him down, and that was the key. So first down and 10. We're on the, what is that, the 23-yard line. He's going to fake it. He's going to take it up the middle, and he's going to get – looks like might be enough for a first down, and it is. And so we're down to 13 seconds, and it's going to be – out of timeouts, or they have – No they're, timeouts they're for no Dibble. Timeouts, so they're, they're just going to have to – here would be Down huge. to 10 seconds. He's going to have to spike yeah. it. Nine seconds left. And so they're going to have to – probably have to try to throw to get this in. So we'll see – if our defensive backfield can hold them right here and keep this shutout for the first half. So nine seconds left, second down and 10, ball on the 23-yard line. Keeping them out is really important here. Yeah. Really important. You don't want them, you don't want them to have any, any kind of uh, positivity going in. It looks like they're going to try to kick a field goal. Interesting. Interesting choice. So they are. This is going to be a 30-yard field goal opportunity. Gets it down. Blocked. It blocked. Go! Jordan picks it up. Go! Go! That's the 40. Can you, that's can the you 30. That in high that's school? the 20. That's the 10. And that's a touchdown. Are you able to advance those in high school? I don't know. I didn't think you could, but I guess you can. I'm still looking at the referees. Dylan Warden with a touchdown if it stands. Yeah, it is. I, and it does. I touchdown Bulldogs. Those. But uh, there again, you're. I'm not sure who blocked it. I don't know if Warden blocked it, but he scooped and scored. I know that. Wow, what a play! Well, we are dominating every fast this <laughs> ball game tonight. It's <laughs> unbelievable. The, the Dibble was like, doing. I just want some points on the board. Went to kick a 30-yard field goal, and it was blocked. There was. There was take a little breather. You can take a little breather. You can watch the cheerleaders here as they perform theirs, and we'll come back and we'll give you some halftime analysis and get ready for the second half.
All right. Let me check where we are on our settings. Quarterback, well, the really that combination from uh, Reed McMurtry to Ben Birchfield has been unstoppable tonight. Yeah. It's unstoppable. Yeah. Uh, they've yeah Ben's been open every time he's just faster and so Mink, Minko's faster looks stronger looks uh, man their fundamentals they look better coached at the moment uh, they haven't made the mistakes uh, that Dibble has uh, Dibble's got two turnovers got multiple penalties sometimes they've had big runs or things like that and they'd have a holding call I think that happened three or four times and so uh, everything's gone wrong for Dibble but everything has gone right for Minko and so they have just just, man, up and down the field, from special teams to offense to defense. You talk about the offensive line. You talk about the defensive line. Man, they're just winning the trenches, the linebackers filling the holes. We've had interceptions and knock, passes knocked down, and so the defensive backs are playing well. And we've even had substitutes come in and play well. Uh, receivers are doing their job. Everybody scored today. And so, man, Quarterback, most of all, man, great job of Murtry getting running the offense, uh, knowing when to hand it off, knowing when to pull it, knowing when to make the pass. And, man, he's been on the money, hasn't he, Mr. Sims? He has on been on his the money. receivers. It has been incredible. And uh, I, I think our speed is exposable tonight, which that surprised even me. I, I really thought that it would be quite a bit tighter contest uh, than what we've had. And uh, barring some crazy, crazy miracle, we're going to get away with a win tonight, but I think this second half is going to be uh, really important for some of our younger players to get some experience in a varsity football game. Yeah. And uh, especially that fourth quarter, I think we'll try to uh, – we'll get the ball. We're going to try to run that clock and try to yeah. run the football some and um, see how it goes. Yeah, you don't want to put much more on film, but I guarantee you everybody that's on the schedule for Minko, uh, their ears will perk up after they see this score tonight. And uh, so I think Miko is putting everybody on notice. Hey, we're ready to play this year. And uh, like you and you said earlier, we even have a couple guys that played a lot last year, and uh, they're not they're hurt. And so yeah, they're hurt. Yeah, we even even that. that, even that. And so we'll get started here in just a moment. All right. Well, it looks like we'll be – are we receiving? Yeah, we're receiving. I, this is the first time – this is the only thing we haven't done yet, so we'll see if we do this well, receive a kick. And so who do we have deep here? We have a Warden, number one, is deep, and also Pate, number 12. That's – make sure I get these brothers right. Uh, Jackson Pate. Jackson Pate. Th Both those – That'll take me a fast. little bit. Yeah. Fast, fast, fast. Yeah, so they're we deep. Got, uh, ben Birchfield right here, and uh, number fourteen, who is Johnson? Number? Noah Johnson. Noah Johnson. And so those are the four that are back. And so this is the only thing we haven't done tonight. And so let's see if we do this well as uh, as well as we've been doing everything else. And you know, I've noticed. I don't know. Uh, Minko has played very loose tonight. They they haven't been tight. They they the whole night. They of course when you're up forty <laughs> something to nothing, right. it's easy to do that. But they have but been. Yeah, flying to the ball. They've been. Yeah, they've been playing. Uh, just that that proves how well they're coached. I think. Good wow, kick. He's Look got at that leg. kick. All the way to the end zone. And that'll be a touchback. If it touches the end zone at all in high school football, it's a touchback. So that'll go to the. Uh, I, think I think Jackson the, Payne was on a piece of that, too. He, yeah, he was ready to go. Yeah, <laughs> he was ready to go. Man, what a kick. That was. you like some trivia about Jackson Payne? Sure, let's hear it. I worked with his grandmother, who was the principal and superintendent at Bingaroni Schools. I worked with her for four years. Miss Lisa King, um, she was a superb athlete in high school back in the day. Well, there you go. Look at that. Y'all have all learned something else about Mr. Sims you didn't know. That's what happens when games get 41 to nothing. Yeah. Oh, oh, no. no. And that's not how you want to start. No. Bad snap. Reed barely got it and tried to hand it off. And as he tried to hand it off, it was fumbling. And it came out. And so automatically... We want some clean football. I know that, that. Was, that was the opposite of how we wanted to see the second half start. And so the first mistake made by the Bulldogs tonight, 
And that's a big one because that's all the way back at the 17-yard line of the Bulldogs. And, man, talk about giving them a little bit of life. This is uh, what you're doing right here when you do this. So the defense back out on the field. First play of the second half, put it on the ground. Hate to see that. Uh, just a bad snap, bad handoff, put it on the ground. So they're going to hand it off to number five. He's going to try to find the corner. Taylor tries oh, to wrap him up. Get a horse collar on uh, that I think play. they are going to get a horse collar. Uh, that was – what number was that that was running the ball? Is that number five? I believe that was number five, Ed Perez. Wayne is dominating Walters 33 to nothing at, at, uh, in the third quarter. Yeah. Looking for some more scores here as you – Well, Next week's – sorry, go ahead. Yeah, that, that was going to be a horse collar. It was a personal foul, so that will be a first down. So it will be first and goal on the five-yard line. Next week's opponent, we play Cash, and they're up on Perry, 34-14 to 14 at halftime. Mm -hmm. yeah, Mangum Ka and Merritt are tight uh, in a tight one, 16-14. to 14. And Quarterback is going to run. He's trying to find a hole. Looks like he kind of find a hole, but the defense swarms there. I think that was number 53. I'm going to give that to Zach Willman, I believe, got that tackle. There was about four other Bulldogs, though, that were there. But that ball is down to the three-yard line, so second down and goal on the three. Boy, you, you just handed it to him there, didn't we? They had no life at all, and you just put the ball on the ground. So unfortunate events right there. See what the defense can do. It's going to be tough to try to stop them from the three-yard line. Turnovers is a great equalizer in football, aren't they? Always are. Always are. Going to hand it off. He's going to try to make the edge. He does. I thought there was a hold, but nice tackle by nice number tackle. five, Reed McMurtry. And he puts a helmet on him and, and uh, pushes him all the way out of bounds. And so it'll be third down and goal. You what know why you thought there was a hold? There was a hold. Yeah, there, uh, <laughs> is there? It looked like a hold to me. It was a hold, yeah. They grabbed the shoulder pad, but not called. But still, great tackle by Reed. So third down and goal on the three-yard line. Big, big play on that. And so great tackle by the corner, Reed McMurtry. Uh, stopped him for no gain. Here comes the quarterback draw. He's going to try to get in there. He looks – oh, I don't he think he got short, there. He's he short, short. just down. barely. And that's going to be fourth down and goal on less than the one-yard line. I couldn't tell who pulled him down, but whoever grabbed him made sure he got down. And so fourth down on the one-yard line, fourth and goal. And they're going to – I would I would guess a quarterback sneak here. It's a pretty good-sized quarterback. You think he could push through? I would think so. Uh so big number 77's in there. Owen Jenkins, we'll see if he can. I think that's who that was. Yep, trying the quarter. Yep, they're like going to they get it in. Pretty easily. Yeah. And they did. That's tough when it's on the half-yard line. So defense does all they can to try to stop them, uh, but couldn't quite stop them. And so they'll score the touchdown there. I think I was looking at 73. That's who I was looking at. Eli Kirkus. Big big Eli Kirkus was in there. We had a special or his helmet, by the way. <laughs> I bet. That, <laughs> he's that is, a big kid. That dude, has, and he's been a big kid for a long time, he hasn't has he? <laughs> he's a great kid, too. Yeah, good a kid. Great young man. Well, there's the score. And there goes the shutout. And what do we got? Are they going to kick or are they are going to? They're going to go for two, it looks like. Uh, looks like. I bet these runner backs cross. Nope. Going to give it to number 21. He's going to try to get the corner. He's they turned it in, in and he's in. And so that'll be a two-point conversion. So that'll make it 41-8. to eight. And the Dibble, Dibble Demons are finally on the board. They are, and uh, off of a turnover, of course. That's never good, regardless of the situation, but... Bulldogs will get it here and uh, regroup and uh, see if they can put on a nice drive or uh, get a score here. And yeah, we'll see if they can get it in. We uh, 
You know, that's one of those things I think Reed can learn from that. McMurtry can learn from that because uh, it was a bad snap. He really had to reach for it. I think those are the moments you just pull it down and run. And he tried to make a fancy handoff, and uh, it just made it worse. Yeah, it's just uh, take the loss. It's okay. Worst case scenario, you yeah. punt the football. Yeah, take the sack, take whatever you need to do, get to the next play. That way you don't give it to him. So uh, good learning moment. Hopefully that will help him in the future. I'm sure the coaches will talk to him about that. Uh, and hopefully that doesn't happen again. And so uh, we'll just use it as a learning moment, hopefully. District opponent Hobart is down 24-8 to 8 to Watonga. Wow. I would have thought Hobart might be a, one of our main uh, yeah, they're, they're gonna be able district to opponents. Tonight, looks like. Boone Apache's down to Cassie, 14-7. Boone Apache was uh, picked to win our district by the Daily Oklahoman. Really? They were. Boone Apache. We were picked number two. Well, did they forget that Minko's good every year? I guess they forgot. They forgot that Minko are the Bulldogs. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, long season ahead of us. Yeah, look at that kick all the way down Yep, in the end zone. He has got a leg. He does have a leg. So that'll be uh, first and 10 on the 20-yard line. And we'll see if we can do, see if we can get something going here in the second half. What we did not see there was uh, Carson Littlejohn had a block. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that was pretty flippant impressive. I think the official said, hey, you know, ch chill a little bit. But <laughs> it was an impressive block. Yeah. That kid made it to the 40 and didn't get past it. No. <laughs> no. All right. Noah Johnson in go. for running back. Takes uh, Pate's place. He's going to take it up the middle. He's met quickly, and he gets nothing there. I uh, wouldn't be surprised to see Carson Littlejohn here, yeah. possibly, and a well, little bit at running back. I'm not sure. Uh, yeah, Pate came out. He was limping a little like bit when he came out. on his shoulder over there yeah. on the sideline. So he wasn't, he wasn't feeling pads. good when he got trying to get that fumble. I think he got a little awkward when he went down. Yeah. So Noah Johnson, number 14 in. Reed McMurtry, our quarterback. we got Holding. we got Hughes. Johnson's going to get the carry. He's going to get a little more this time. He's going to roll forward. Look at him keep churning those feet. And he got Almost about eight yards on down. there. So, yeah, eight yards on that carry. That'll be third down and two. And again, a personal. Oh, we got a injury, uh, injury timeout. timeout. Injury timeout for Dibble. And so receivers, we got Holding, Hughes, Warden in Birchfield. Faster, Mike. He's a little wobbly. Oh, going to the sideline. It looks like it. Six. One of the linemen took care of him. So third down, two. Tried to get him off sides. Didn't work. McMurtry's going to keep it. Nice little cut. Nice cut again. He's finally dragged down, but he gets about four yards, five yards, and that'll be a first down. That's what I was hoping to see. I like that. Keeps him honest. Does, yeah. and, uh, you know, ball control here, just keeping the clock running, very, very important. Yeah. Looks like uh, Jackson Pace tonight is probably done. Uh, put ice in that shoulder up and uh, yeah, I would probably really. took a little stinger there, and uh, they'll keep him out for precaution. Yeah, I wouldn't, uh, I wouldn't put him back out there, that's for sure. Not at 41-8. to eight. No. And so it looks like his night is done, but he played well. It got him a touchdown. He did. Uh, he's, yeah, he had a good night. And so McMurtry looking to pass. Oh, oh just a little low, and Birchfield steps. couldn't come with it. It was a little nice little slant pattern. Uh, McMurtry, a little low. That's the first time he's missed somebody low. Uh, and Birchfield still almost came up with it. He did. It was if it had been about uh, six inches higher, six inches higher, that would have been a catch for a first down. But Yeah, that would have been. It's you know, a really an impressive crowd tonight. I like, like, yeah, great crowd. I like Birchfield. He's, uh, he's running really good routes. So Johnson up the middle. He's got some room. He's going to make a little cut. He's got a lot more. And he's gone all the way to the 49-yard line of the Dibble Demons. Big run there of about 17 yards. I like that. You know, Noah Johnson's about 5'6", 140 pounds, and <laughs> yeah. he's not very big. And he's real. Uh, oh, he got he got dinged a little bit. Yeah, I watch. we'll put number 33 out here, Carson Littlejohn. And get his opportunity. there he goes. 
It's a nice run by Noah Johnson. Needs a breather. I think he maybe kind of. I think he took a helmet somewhere. Or maybe something. into the stomach. Maybe yeah. lost his wind right there. But great run. First yeah. and ten on the 50-yard line. McMurtry going to keep it. Throw it out to Warden. Ward's going to find a little bit of room, and he does. Ward is not only fast, he is strong. Man, he was slippery right there, wasn't he? Yes, he was. And so that got about five yards, so second down and five. I love that RPO, that little run-pass option. Guys, what, you can't block for me too? <laughs> you block it for everybody else. What about me? <laughs> and so, Absolutely. And so we'll see. I bet he gets another shot here. So third down and eight. Going to pull it, going to throw the ball. Tried to anticipate there was a blitz. Messed the timing up just to yeah, tell that play. Yeah, made McMurtry throw it a little earlier than he wanted to. He was trying to guess at it. And Warden was in the intended target, but just missed it. So that will be fourth down and eight. If that would have connected, that's a touchdown. Yeah, that would have been. Yeah, he needed, uh, he needed about five more seconds. And that's probably where the freshman out there didn't get – didn't pick up the blitz. And that's hard to learn. Uh, but that'll be on field now for him, and now he'll know what to do. So fourth down and eight. McMurtry back to punt. Number 21 for the uh, Dibble. Lane Lesser is going to receive it. Good kick. Warden right Ooh. there. Puts him down immediately right on the 25-yard line. Great coverage on that punt. Good punt, good coverage. A little so, bit of exclamation point there on that tackle. Yeah, good tackle right there. I, I – I can't believe he hasn't. How long is, did he play in middle school, uh, Dylan Warden? This is his first year to ever play football. Ever? Ever. Ever. That's he, unbelievable. The school he went to was at Riverside, Oh. Uh, which is a little K-8 school. They didn't have football. And, okay. Uh, I know the coaches have been saying that every year that he came over, they watched him play uh, <laughs> basketball that, uh, <laughs> in practice. Like, we want to play football. Field. Finally we talked him into finally it. Finally talked him into it. And it's like he – man, I cannot believe how he knows what to do. Yeah, that's special teams. He even knows what to do there. Well, you so. know that comment you made a while ago that an athlete's an athlete? Yeah, that's right. That's Dylan Warden. Yeah, there you go. Quarterback's going to run this one. He's trying to find the corner. Lara's chasing him. Lara's going to catch him. And also number one there, Dylan Warden on the tackle. We call his name again. Uh, I've liked watching Lara, number 60. He, he is, has uh, great pursuit to the ball. I, you know, it's, I, he's playing really well tonight. I don't know that he's the fastest, but he knows where the play is going. So as a senior, he knows what's going on, and he's getting where he needs to get to. And he's making maybe a, they've watched some film of the scrimmages? Uh, I, I guarantee <laughs> you. He, he knows what he's doing. He's getting there in a hurry. So – Good job by Lara there, playing a good – that's a senior for you, and that's what you need your seniors to do. So the defense trying to settle this thing down in the first half, this uh, the second half, the third quarter. And so second down and 11, that was a tackle for a loss for Lara. That's, that's what you want to do. Going to hand it off to number five, and he's met quickly by Lara again. There's another tackle for the senior linebacker. So – he has. He, I thought he was going to fumble. Too. It looks I, like he hurt him too as he got the tackle. <coughs> Cramping. So injury timeout. We've got. Hopefully a it's a cramp. Yeah. Gonna, I'll tell you something too. Uh, I'm really impressed with the shape of our team. As hot as it is tonight, uh, very few issues with cramping or I, anything. They're, they're know, we haven't seen it well yet. Well conditioned. Yeah. And so defense tightening it up again, doing what they're supposed to do, just like they've done pretty much the whole game. And so it'll be third down and eight. From the uh, 27, yeah, 27 yard line. We've got five minutes left in this third quarter. Uh, the Bulldogs dominated the first half. A uh, couple of mistakes here in the second half. Dibble's figuring a couple things out. Looks like they're going to bring more pressure, try to throw McMurtry off. But I bet what happens pretty soon, if they try that too much, McMurtry will take off down the field and they won't be able to catch him because that dude can run. I've been really impressed with our team speed tonight, Pastor Mike. The, 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 the uh, young men have – that uh, our skill positions are fast. Yeah. Yeah, there's a lot of good team speed. Yeah. Got the size where we need it. Good size, boys. So, so next week we play at Cashin. All right, that's going to be fun. Uh, unfortunately, or fortunately, uh, they'll be able to hear you, but not me. I will, <laughs> I will be out of town next week, uh, but I know you'll have a good time calling that game. It's a Friday night game, and it'll be a big game. Non-district. 
Yeah, non-district, but game. always a big game because Cashin's always in the hunt. They're always, all, always in the hunt, and so it's a good uh, marker to kind of look at where you're at, kind of figure out where you're at as a team and what you need to do if you want to be a part of the top-tier talent. Quarterback looking to run, gets a block or two. Somebody's on his heels. That was number, what is that, number 58? Yeah, no, number 50. Who's big number 50? Rush, Rhett Schneider. Rhett Schneider, that's right. I haven't haven't mentioned his name. Boy, that was a good tackle right there. It was. There. Fourth down. So fourth down and five. Yeah, maybe four. Fourth down and five. I'll go with the scoreboard. Fourth down and five. Nice tackle by Schneider right there. Boy, he really brought the – those are – he's also got a little size to him, doesn't he? He does have a little size to him. Uh, <laughs> About 6'12", yeah, yeah. 450 pounds. <laughs> yeah. He's a big boy, big boy. <laughs> and so fourth down, here we go. Going to kick it. Nobody back, so that's just going to roll. Got a good roll. Oh, what a good that bounce. should go down to about the 21-yard line. And so the defense did exactly what they needed to do, three and out. Three and out, and uh, really we're playing a game with a clock now. <coughs> Trying to get this one over with and – Get to get to the end of the game with no more injuries and well, I think the coaches here in the third quarter they really want to finish up the third quarter well with your starters. You want to you want to finish on a high note. You want to finish on what you've been already have accomplished and you can continue to accomplish going into the next game. You want to be in a good rhythm and that way you can hand it off uh, to your second and third strings. And so I I want to see a good drive right here. I want to see I do too something pretty crisp right here, and then maybe you can start moving some kids in and out. I believe that. Uh, our freshman number 33, Little John, is going to have to grow up because I think we, we'll see a lot of him this season. Yeah. And so here's his chance. He's going to be met pretty quickly. I don't know if he got anything at all. Maybe half a yard. Maybe half a yard. Maybe half a yard. <laughs> and so uh, looks like they're going to rotate some linemen in. That was number 56 coming in. On That's a hot night, Colton Mendez. Hot night like tonight, it's important to have that depth. Yeah, absolutely. The more that can play, the better. And so let's see who else is out there. Number three is out there, uh, Ashton Taylor. It uh, looks like he's uh, playing tight end. That number 52, um, I know him. And Shane I'm, Godwin. Thank you, Shane Godwin, yes. So here's a pass out to Warden. He, oh, oh, and he stumbles. He had some room. Had some room to run, but uh, just couldn't stay on his feet. Just let him just a little bit too much. And so that's going to make it third and 13, 14. He keeps moving back. 15, third and 15. So a long. Uh, this is not a situation they've been in, so I'm no. interested to see what they do. And so I like these other kind of situations to figure out what to do. And so third and long, third and 15. Good blocking. He's got Big pass. Open. Got Birchfield. Oh, oh, he dropped it. No. Perfect pass. And Birchfield once again had just ran past his defender. They can't keep up with him. And Reed hit him right in the belly. Right. Yeah, you got to catch those. Uh, great pass. Great effort by Ben. It just just fell out of his fingertips. Yeah. I mean, it was right there in the bread basket. It was I beautiful know play. He is beating himself up right he now. He is because that was money. That was another touchdown. He was about that to be was. off for the races. I'm it's very uh, impressed with the speed of Ben Birchfield yeah. out there. It's, he's going to have a good season, and I, that's not going to be reminiscent of what's going to happen this year for Ben. Yeah, he's getting. Uh, he looks faster. I mean, he looks way faster than what I remember, and so uh, missed that one. Good snap, good kick. Going to field it at the 45. Oh, he drops it. He's going to get hit. Oh, Warden just misses him. Birchfield oh. runs into the ref. Get out of the way. Ooh. And that was a clip. That, oh, and man. It's not going to be called. Out. Oh, that's. Th Should have been a clip. They need to throw a flag. That, that's ridiculous. Maybe they did throw a flag on it. My uh, goodness. I don't see How one. could you not throw a flag on that play? My word. I don't see Holy schmoles. And so that's number 22 that's hodling off there. That is ridiculous. Carter Pate looked like he Carter got Carter got, oh, my word, that knocked the snot out of him, and that was, un, that was uncalled for. And so first and 10 for the Dibble Demons, going to be at the 40-yard line. 
Thought he was going to drop it. Thought he was going to get tackled back here when he first caught it. Uh, but he, he looks was like he's going to be all right. But this, that man, that was a blindside block that was uh, – should have been a clip, sir. Yeah, I agree. Well, first and ten on the 40-yard line of the Bulldogs. See if the defense can stand strong again. Oh, he almost dropped that. And, oh, he still got out of that tackle. Uh, number 53 almost had him. That's uh, – that's Zach Willman. Almost had him, but just couldn't get him down. I think I number mean, three, Ashton so Taylor, passionate got him. About so that, second Pastor five. Mike. <laughs> you were. You did. You got very excited about that. Very protective of these students, aren't you, Mr. Sims? <laughs> yeah. He looks like he's all right over there. Just kind of got banged up pretty good. But, uh, yeah, he got blindsided. That hurt. He did. That was a nasty block. I believe block. you call that an ear hole. Yeah, okay, right, right in the ear hole. Uh, Coach Wardlaw has ex been expressing his frustration <laughs> to the official over there about that, that, about that one as well. Yeah. Uh, I think maybe some fans have also expressed yeah. uh, their feelings about that. So second down and five. Quarterback's going to keep it. There's nobody over there. There's another block. Birchfield trying to get there. Can't get him down. Wardlaw can't get him down. Finally, Hughes knocks him out of bounds. we got a minute 34 left in this third quarter. And the Dibble Demons are starting to find a few things. Starting to find a few things. Sometimes when you get up 41 to nothing, you relax. You don't yes. play quite as fast. You play. You don't qu play quite as loose. You're not quite as intense, and I think you're seeing the effects of that. And so, good learning moment for him. Good learning moment. Like I said, a lot of a lot of young ones on this team. Uh, the seniors are doing their jobs. You're gonna have to talk to these young guys and say, "Hey, we can't let up. We got to keep going." So, first and ten, ball on the twelve. Down to a minute thirty-three seconds left in this third quarter. Hand off to number five, find he, finds a big hole, tackled by Lara. He finally got him by the ankles, and but he's going to get he's going to get about five yards on that carry, maybe six. That's uh, Joseph Davis for the Dibble Demons. No, not no number five. Ed Perez for the Dibble Demons seems to get in some more carries. Norman doesn't seem to. He might have got hurt, maybe. I haven't seen him. I think both teams are starting to tire a little bit in this heat, Pastor. Yeah, they're it'll kind of do slowing it. down, and yeah. uh, it is tiring. Yeah, it'll do it. And quarterback's going to keep it. He, Lara's there. Can't get him down. Birchfield does get him down at, like, the half-yard line, maybe the one-yard line. Good tackle by Birchfield out on the corner. Got him down. But you can you got to hold the edge there. I don't know where the defensive end went, but you got to hold the edge on that side. You can't this let that is a quarterback. This one here. I, I, it's fourth down and goal. Uh, I don't think it is. I think it's. Oh, okay. He, I think yeah, it's yeah. the first down. I think it's first. It's first. Down. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. So first and goal from the one yard line. This is tough to stop. Got to yeah. got to have penetration. Got to beat them. And nope, that's not going to happen. And so Dibble scores again. And so they're going to get another touchdown there. Uh, really, that's their first drive of the game that they actually moved down the field. I mean, they started at the 40. It wasn't that, like, it was that long of a drive. They started on Bulldog territory, but they're able to punch it in. Uh, lots of big runs. They're starting to find a few things. And so, so far, second half, it's been Dibble Demons. Dibble Demons, uh I don't think we've showed our hand too much in the, in the second half, to be honest, what, what, with the exception of one long pass attempt to Ben. Very vanilla, trying to run the clock, eat the clock, um, being up 41 nothing. But uh, we'll see. There might be something up on this drive a little different. Yeah. And they did get the two-point conversion. Did they get the two-point? They did. Oh, no, they called a – is that a flag? Uh, what did they call there? I'm confused. Penalty marker down. What do they call? I think it might have been a hold. I don't know. I couldn't tell. So 41-14, going for the two-point conversion. Must have been a jump or off or uh, maybe offside procedure or something yeah. against movement or something because they moved it back five yards. Okay. I was taking a drink. I missed it. See what Dibble comes up here for the two-point conversion. He's gonna, th he's gonna keep it. There's the pursuit. Lara can't get there. Oh, nice! Big hit. Just stood him up. Nice. 
Big hit over there by. Who was that? Uh, was that 72? Uh, no. That was either Warden or Pate. I can't tell. I think it was Warden that put the hit on him right at the goal line, and so that will be a failed two-point conversion. Dylan, so Ward, Dylan Warden doesn't mess around, does he? Dylan Warden, for never playing football, looks like he's always played football. 41-14, yeah. <laughs> 19 seconds left in this third quarter. It's been all Dibble Demons this third quarter. It's been just them. Uh, a, a fumble, uh, not completing the pass, dropping it. Uh, they've tripped over the feet. Uh, Dibble's finally finding something kind of with a quarterback. Uh, and so the defense is relaxed just a little bit. I uh, had one three and out, but uh, we see a drive. They had a small drive to score the first touchdown because they were at the 16-yard line and then scored this touchdown from the 40-yard line. So they haven't had to go far yet. Um, and so not, not where we want to be at the end of the third quarter here. Not at all. But uh – I think we're going to come out on this drive, and well, I don't know. I, you know, one thing about our coach. Go ahead, let's hear it. We want to, we want to hear your I know prediction. What I would like to see. <laughs> I like to see a big pass play or something, or you know, liven this thing back up a little bit. Of course, when you're up forty-one to nothing, it's hard uh -huh. to contain that. You know, keep that emotion, it is. That, that spirit up because the game is basically out of reach. Um, I think uh, Ben Birchfield is back, and Dylan Warden is back there, and he's been kicking it to Ben. I think Ben wants to grab onto this and take off because he dropped that last ball. I think he's ready to get some redemption right here. So let's see what he does. It was good to see Carter Payton there on that tackle uh, after getting mm -hmm. blocked like he did. And yeah, tough kid. Oh, he's a tough kid. All right, I think this is going to be returnable. It is returnable. And Birchfield's going to go for it. He's going to come over to the right side, see if he gets a few blocks. He does. He does. He's got some room. He's He's going to get down all the way to the 35-yard line. Good return by Ben Birchfield. Really would like to see a drive here too, Pastor Mike. It's yeah. a good ball control and run that ball. And uh, of course, we've got three our, our three starting running backs are out yeah. after injury. Well, four. <laughs> four. <laughs> we're yeah. down. We're down to fifth string here, aren't we? Yeah, it's uh, pretty unbelievable, but. Um, well, this is where your line has to block. Let me see who's out there for your line. Number 72, uh, Gavin Goodman. Another sophomore. Yeah. Number 56, Colton Mendez. Number 77, Owen Jenkins, a freshman. Number 50, Schneider. And then 58, uh, the center, Isaac Oaks. And there's the handoff, but he's met quickly. And right now the defensive line for Dibble is uh, winning the battle so far here in this third quarter. Uh oh, I think we have a little cramp. In little John's got a little cramp. He's gonna have to. Is he gonna have to come off? Okay. And that'll be the end of the third quarter. And so it is 41 to 14. Your Bulldogs are still well in control of this game. Uh, dominated the first half, but this third quarter didn't look quite as good. But hey, it's still 41 to 14. Uh, played an excellent game so far. Yeah, and you know, really only just a couple of bad plays. Uh, the, the turnover at the, at the start of the third quarter. Yeah, that hurt. That, that hurt. Um, other than that, it's been pretty clean play. You know, and the yeah. Ward Laws, they, when they get a lead like that, they, yeah. they're not ones to uh, run the score up. Uh, they, they are very conservative with that, and they respect the opponents uh, very much so. You know, fourth quarter will be a lot more of the same, trying to control the uh, ball game and the – clock yeah absolutely and so want to control the clock I, I got a feeling coach wants at least one good drive I, I would I, I would think, think you so. want to get one good drive with these starters and then maybe you can start working them in and out uh, there's been though a lot of offensive linemen that have played uh, there's freshmen sophomores juniors seniors all of the above that have gotten out there and played so they still have worked them in and out and so I think that'll be uh, something to watch is that offensive line, who really is going to win those jobs and who's going to begin to gel together. That's going to be big, especially going into next week. you got to be able to block it, Cashin. You have to be able to block. And uh, really important to establish some type of run for next week since uh, these injuries are really costly. Yep, looks like Little John's going to stay out there. So it'll be second down and five on the 34-yard line. I'm going to go, yeah, second down and six. I'm going to go second down and six from the 34-yard line. 
So good run. Got four yards the first carry. Is that Clayton Hughes? That's Clayton Hughes, Hughes in quarterback. at quarterback. So they've started to uh, do that. Little John trying to get up the middle, doesn't. I think he lost a yard or two on yeah, that Yeah, might have lost one on that one. So Clayton Hughes in at quarterback. That's not a bad decision to have McMurtry come over here onto the sidelines. You want to keep him healthy, that's for sure, especially with Mullinax hurt. And so Clayton Hughes getting the shot at it. This will be good experience for him. He caught a touchdown earlier. And they're going to blitz right up the middle. It's picked up. He's throwing over to Birchfield. It's a duck. Oh, oh and somehow he catches it, but flags are on the field. That will be pass Might be interference. interference. And so he's working his way up the middle. There's a missed tackle. There's a block. And finally brought down by Taylor. Let's see what the flag let's, is. Let's I believe it's going to be pass interference. Yeah, it's going to be pass interference on the defense. Uh, Clayton Hughes threw the ball, but it was a kind of a duck as it went up there, and so it didn't quite travel as far as it wanted to. And waiting on the referee. And he's trying to find some space so he can make the call. Oh, defensive defensive holding. holding, okay. So held Ben Birchfield. That's why he couldn't. He still, he still beat him up the field. <laughs> I would grab him, too, if uh, if that was me, and that will be enough for a first down for our Bulldogs. And so it works out. And so just the speed of Ben Birchfield is too much. They had to hold him, and so it worked out for him. It looks like we're having all sorts of substitutions in. And so I see number, let's see, let me look at this, number 28, uh, Tasha Ruth Hart is over there. Uh, tight end is number, is that number 20? Uh, Colton Mullings, number six over here, Gavin Johnson, is on your near side. There's another tight end over there on the right side. I can't see who that is. Oh, that's Taylor. Oh, that's a nice little play. So there's number 20. He's find a little room. And that is uh, Colton Mullings, nice little jet sweep, able to get about five. And so that will be second down and five. Nice little run right there. You'll be calling his name a lot over the next four years. He is a good athlete. He can play basketball, baseball, football. Yeah, just Pastor. a freshman. Yes. Have a lot of youth on this team, Pastor Mike. Yeah, that's what I was looking at. Let's see. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine seniors. A lot of good kids coming up, too, in the yeah. eighth grade, seventh, eighth grade levels. Just a few juniors and the rest sophomores and freshmen. There's the handoff to Little John. See if he, oh, oh, nice little stiff nice arm. Stiff arm. Good job not – oh, a little cut back. Hold He's on. still on his feet, and that will be enough for a first down. That was a good tough run. Nice run by Little John. That's what you were talking about. He is strong. He's cramping. He's got a cramp. He's got a cramp. Yeah, Number it's – seven. Well, it's hot out, out there. A lot of cramps going on right it now. It is hot, and so with it being so hot, it's, it's like that. So let's see who comes out for running back. Is Warden? Number one. Is Warden? Warden? I'll be doggone. Warden. <laughs> <laughs> this is great. I you know, love this, it. This may, this may lead to something here, Pastor <laughs> Mike, but number one back That's there. That's unbelievable to me. The guy has never played football, and he's playing offense and defense the whole game. He's special teams. He's caught a touchdown pass. He's made tackles, and now he's the running back. With the, what, what are we, like 10th string now running back? And so Clayton's going to throw it out to him. And he's going to get speed. on it, and he's going to get about nine yards on that uh, pass play. Nice job by Clayton Hughes, led him perfectly out there. Sometimes that little pass isn't the easiest, but he was able to get it to him and got him running. And Dylan Warden with about nine yards on that catch. And so nine minutes, 50 seconds left in this game. 41 to 14, your Bulldogs are ahead. A lot of, a lot of second stringers out there getting good experience. This is exactly what the Bulldogs needed. Yeah. Let's get a good drive going and see if we can get this thing in the end zone. Yeah, I think just about everybody has played. I don't know if anybody hasn't. If not, they're getting really close to it. Nice effort by our – Ward's going to get the carry. I feel like he's like, what do I do with this? Schneider blocked his guy 10 yards down the other way. 
<laughs> and finally put him back on the 45-yard uh, line on his back. <laughs> Good <laughs> night. No. I don't know if you watched that, that but that's easy. what I was looking at. Yeah, I was too. Schneider, number uh, 50, took his guy 10 yards backwards. Unbelievable. <laughs> Third down and two. Yeah, There's an offside. Finally Good worked. Job, Clayton. Finally worked, and that'll be enough for a first down, and the Bulldogs move it forward. Great job. Really impressed by our student body tonight. There's the way they have showed up, and uh, they have not left the fence all night. Yeah, they've they even got some buckets out there, got some drumsticks. Uh, having a good old time. I love it. Friday nights uh, are special. That They're makes it special during football yeah, season. Yeah, makes it they? fun when everybody gets to have – everybody gets after it. That's right. Yeah, <laughs> especially when you're whooping somebody. So here we go. First and ten on the 32-yard line. He's going to flip it to number 20, oh, Mullings. Wow. Somehow he got out and around. Ooh, nice little cut. He's able to get about four or five yards on that. Man, I like that cut from Mullings. Mullings is running with some authority. Well, here, he right? put that right foot in the ground and went, got to the left quickly. Uh, who's that coming up? Taylor. He was on the ground a little too long. It looks like Little John's coming back out. So Warden does his job as a running back. I tell you, Warden, if you get the <laughs> ball up to him in space, I, you've got a shot at 10, 15, man, 20 yards at a minimum. I, I mean, the, the guy is so fast. What's happening? I don't know what Little John came all the way back. He can't find his mouthpiece. That's oh, my guess. Oh, yeah. And I'm sure the T will hear out. something about that uh, a little bit later tonight. And we're now down. we have 12 men on the field. Yeah. <laughs> timeout Maybe finally time called. Out. I think, was it his mouth? He, yes. Yeah. And he throws it down. <laughs> he can't find it. <laughs> if that's not freshman, I don't know what is. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's yeah. great. A cheer scoring drives are short fields. And so the defense has done what you want to do. And I, that, I love that. I love to watch that because, man, having the defense is super important. Uh, if they can play well, then you can do a lot of things. And, man, I want to. I think the most impressive things for me is how many different players have made plays. I mean, a lot there of playmakers go. on the field. I mean, a lot of people have had opportunities, and they've taken advantage of it. And I think that is huge uh, that you, you can't key on one guy. you got to look at everybody. And, man, that opens up the field. Uh, so, that, to me, that's the most exciting thing I've seen tonight. Absolutely. Uh-oh. Down on the ground. Oh, he picks it up. <laughs> wow. Wow. Number 28. That was Tasha Ruthart. He's quick as lightning. He was quick. I mean, and that, guy's, that boy's quick. That ball hit him in the chest, hit the ground. He picked it up and got about three yards. Everything looked wrong, and he got three yards. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> And, you know, the, the good thing about this is the clock is running. Yep. Down to seven minutes, 45 seconds. Clayton Hughes at quarterback. He's going to get the offsides right yes, there. Yes, he is. There's the flag. That should be enough for a first down. Clayton is a very smart kid, very smart at what he does and whatever sport he's in, and it's, it's exhibiting itself right here. Yeah, he got to play uh, kind of the freshman JV games last year, got a lot of experience doing that. And here he is out here playing second string at quarterback number 11, Clayton Hughes, doing a good job. Just running the offense, getting everybody in the right spot. It's going to go out to Little John. He's going to find some room. Oh, and there's there a hold. I thought he might call it. Yeah, I definitely had a hold of him. And so that play it's will come back. back. I like that little pass, though, getting those athletes out in the open field, see what they can do since we got such good quickness. Um, and so I like that play. He had a good block. I think it was number three, Ashton Taylor, had a good block. He had his hands in. When you have your hands in, you can grab a little jersey. But once it extends, you better let go. And he let go just a little too late. So he's a, he'll figure that out. He'll figure that out. He's just a sophomore. Good-looking athlete, though. Very good-looking athlete. So we're down to seven minutes, ten seconds. First down and 20. On the 30-yard line. He's going to pull it. Clayton Hughes is going to get around the corner. Oh, he couldn't get away. And he's dragged down as we move Just back another five yards. Yeah. Thought he was going to get around him, but couldn't quite get around him. 
That whole play looked just a little wrong the yeah, whole time, didn't it? Kinda, anything that could have went wrong went wrong on that play. But uh, I think the linemen are still figuring out which guy they need to block, and that's that's part of playing. That's why you want to play. It's it's easy to know who to block when you're just playing against yourself, but when you start playing other teams, to figure which hat you're supposed to put your hat on, and uh, so. Freshman Owen Jenkins out there tonight. Get yeah. a lot of playing time. Yeah, a lot of playing time. He's a good size, good size boy too. And there's the, another pitch right there. Oh, he should have cut it up, and he went ahead and didn't. And that'll be another loss. We're just going backwards now. We were moving forwards pretty good. And we're down to six minutes. He'll see that on film, and he'll be mad at himself when he sees that because that hole was there if he cut he, up. He could have had some yards. Yeah, he could have had about five, six, seven yards probably on that play. So third down and 26, it's a long ways, I can tell you that. It is a long ways, and uh, <laughs> don't want any turnovers here. Just try nope. to see what you can get and kick it away. Yeah, just keep moving forward. Keep moving forward. And you might get a first down. You never know. Yeah. There's going to pull it. He's going to throw it. Oh, he had him. Oh, yeah, yeah, right off open. of his hand. Good looking pass right there. I liked that one. Little play fake. Ruth Hart found the open ground, uh, but it was just off his right hand, and he couldn't pull that one in. It's so close. Uh, Ruth Hart's a freshman, so once again, a young guy getting some good learning. Just couldn't pull it in there, could he? He could not. He's a good-looking football player. He uh, is fast. We're going to hear, hear his name a lot for four years, too, Pastor. Yeah. He, it, yeah. it's, uh, he's going to do well for us. So fourth down and a whole bunch. We're going to go back and pass. He's going to throw it up to Taylor. He's got, He's him. got him. Oh, and it's, oh, oh, put it on the money. My goodness. Good looking pass from Clayton Hughes. And he we, just couldn't pull it down. We have had the drops this, this half. Yes. Uh, two good, really two touchdown passes dropped. Yeah, that is. We've got uh, number three is down. Taylor. Ashton Taylor's down. That drop pass was enough for him. He's going to stay there. Hopefully it's just a cramp. He's been cramping a little, and yeah. so hopefully it was just a cramp. We it's been a tough night for injuries for the Bulldogs. Uh, yeah, a couple guys. It's that's hard to play in this heat. Yeah, it is. I, I think. Uh, oh, he almost pulled that down. He's just that almost. I mean, that it was. was I thought it, he had it. If we had 26 yards to go, that was a 26-yard pass. That was a good route, good pass, good timing. Just couldn't come down with it. So hopefully this is a cramp. We can really get back tell. up. It's kind of, kind of what it's that maybe an ankle. I don't know. I'm not sure what's going on. Well, he's played a lot tonight. He's played a lot of defense. Has made quite a few tackles. Uh, now getting out on the offensive end, and so he's played a bunch of downs tonight. And That's so a I, good sign, right I'm there. I'm sure he's just more smooth out. Yeah, he's. He's going to want to sleep till about 11 tomorrow, until it's so. kickoff time, till we get to see some Boomer Sooner tomorrow. That's right. I guess the Tulane Green Wave. I think I think the the Pokes are playing. I, I don't know. At some point. Yeah. Missouri <laughs> State, I believe. <laughs> yeah. Did you see that Pistol Pete got uh, voted as the worst mascot? Yes, I did. I, I, that really didn't surprise me. <laughs> no, uh, I was a little bit surprised by that, to be honest with you. I, I don't. Yeah, I, I, don't, I don't know where that came from. I'm not from sure that. how you vote for mascots. I don't, I don't either. Uh, <laughs> I think both state uh, teams are going to be pretty doggone good this season. Yeah, I do too. Yeah, and it's going to be some good college football action. And uh, I saw one of our alumni here tonight is going to second team guard on the University of Central Arkansas. Oh, that's right. Yeah, Aiden I did Howry. see Mr. Howry. So it looks like Dibble's got some second team out there. Oh, there's a nice, oh, nice tackle, tackle by number 11. That is Clayton Hughes. and uh, He's all over the place man, tonight. Man, that was a great tackle right in the backfield for a loss of two. Good job by the outside linebacker, Clayton Hughes. Nice tackle right there. Really, it's a, it's a great game to get some experience in the second half. Uh Obviously, you want to see a more points scored, but I think the experience may be more beneficial than the points here. Yeah. Nice little counter. Oh, Ooh, nice another tackle. good tackle. That's 20. Colton Mullings. And another really good open field tackle. 
by Hughes and now Mullings. And so that makes um, it third down. It'll be third down and long. I'm going to say, yeah, basically 10 yards. That looked like he was going to break it. I thought he and, was, too. It was and, a big opening. I, I mean, wow. It was either Mullings pulls him down or he's gone. And Mullings did his job. So good job by him. Really been impressed he's by a, some of our freshmen. Yeah, he's a freshman, huh? Really been wow. impressed with the play of our freshman tonight. So we're down to three minutes, 50 seconds in the fourth quarter. <laughs> we never changed that, did we? 41 to 14. Bulldogs are winning by a lot. Delay of game there. There's a flag. Took a little long with the new quarterback in. So three minutes, 40 seconds left, 41 to 14. It's really been domination by the Minko uh, defense all day long. Has uh, been. Minko's offense did great the first half. Hadn't, didn't do much the second half, but they did all the work they needed to do in the first half. Two weeks from tonight, homecoming. Yes. That's so we'll be, be watching our social media pages and announcement pages for a lot of activities that week, Thursday night parade. Looks like there's going to be a pass. Ooh, oh, right, in oh, right to number 22. He's been back there all day long playing center field. That's Carter Pate. And, uh, boy, he almost had he almost had that one. He already has he one. That almost the second interception of the night. He about laid out uh, Colt Pauling's <laughs> going for that ball. Um, yeah. He did. Yeah, homecoming in a couple yeah, weeks. we have a parade Don't on Thursday night that. followed by a prayer party. We'd like to see all the community out for that. Yeah. And then the football game is at 7 o'clock Friday night. I think the crowning will be at 6, 6.30. And uh, be watching for announcements. It's going to be a great week of fun and activities for the students. Yeah, I want to be there. So you can tell they're fundamentally sound. They can hit the ball. They play small ball. They can bunt. Uh, good defense. Uh, they know what they battled when they needed to battle up at plate. Uh, they were they were fun to watch. And very so, disciplined. Very disciplined yeah, team. Yeah, good, well-coached team. Well-coached team. And so they're going to have a good shot. So you want to try to catch them Tuesday. And then as playoffs get here, you'll want to watch those because I think they're going to make a good run. I think this is your year. All right. Three minutes, 14 seconds left in this game. Fourth down. They're going to punt it and get it away. Leave it alone. Stay run away. away run away. away. Oh, oh, he did not. Two. Who was that? Number 28. Yeah. Tasha Ruth Hart. Ruth Hart. He's just wanting to make a play. Yeah, he is wanting to make a play. I believe the coaches will have a conversation with him soon. <laughs> Maybe Dad might. Dad might have a conversation soon. <laughs> Dad might do the same thing. <laughs> uh, you know, you not only are these yeah. kids good football players, they're outstanding young men, too. Yeah. And, I, you know, I, I see these kids a lot, and uh, all of our kids. We we are very blessed at Minko to have great students and uh, – a whole plethora of things. The band yeah. tonight has been outstanding. I've yeah. enjoyed listening to them play. Uh, Student section still on their feet. Yeah, this is a fun night and much needed after last year yeah. and some of the difficulties and struggles we had. It's nice to have a Friday night lights that is normal. All right, Clayton Hughes, first and ten. He's at quarterback. And there's a nice little cut. Boy, he is fast and shifty. That's number 22. We've been talking about him on defense, but now he's getting some opportunities on offense. That's Carter Perfect. Pate, the sophomore. He's Boy, he's got some quickness to him, doesn't he? He does. Like that little jet sweep that comes across. I think it keeps the defense honest at least, and then sometimes you can find a, find some holes to run in. So we're down to two minutes, 28 seconds. Clock is moving. Second down and four. I'd like to see, like to see one of these young ones here break one, go go the distance. Clayton Hughes is going to take it. He's going to get a first down. He's got some room to move. Here we go. Keep moving, all the way down to the twenty yard line. Great job by Hughes. He's got some wheels on it. Yeah, he turned it on right there. It was a good read. That's that RPO option, that run pass option, and he saw the hole and he took it and went about 25, 28 yards on that carry. So first and 10, we're down to a minute 55. Clock is rolling. So first and 10 on the 20 yard line. Coaches are gonna use all of it they can. I thought he might just slip away there, huh? <laughs> I thought he might. Uh... 
Great, great run. That was a good run. Good run by Hughes. Good job. Little John. And there's the handoff to Little John. He's going to power right on through and get about five yards. That was reminiscent of his brother, wasn't it? It was. Just straight up the middle. <laughs> Well, you could take five yards a chunk at a time, can't you? Yeah, and this is a uh, pressable drive going on here by these young yeah. guys. Down to a minute six, second down and five. See if maybe they can punch one in. That would be fun at the end of the game. Play clock down to ten. Uh, and they take a knee. Which is probably the right thing to do. So it good job, coach. Thing, yeah. <laughs> so if we're down coach, to. We'd be winning about 97. That's right. right. Well, we now. keep yeah. going. <laughs> and that looks like, I believe, yeah, this will be the end of the game. And so this will be enough. And Maybe so your snap. Bulldogs have won it 41-14, to 14, a great first game of the season. Put it on the Dibble Demons. I thought it was going to be much closer, but it was not. Well, uh. No, we. I thought it would be something. You know, the oh, the Oklahoma had it picked seventeen fourteen. Yeah. You know, so, definitely a big win by the Bulldogs tonight. And uh, you know, it's hard when you when you jump out on team forty one to nothing. It's hard yeah. to maintain. You that had to maintain level. that intensity. But uh, what a good victory for these young men tonight. Proud well, of them. Well, we're glad that you have joined us tonight. Glad that you watched some Minko Bulldog football with us. Uh, we will hope to see you. Uh, maybe for a softball game, definitely for a football game next week as we head to Cashin. Uh, that way you can join us there, and we'll bring all the action and see what the Miko Bulldogs can do against those Cashin Wildcats next week. So thanks for joining us once again. Miko Bulldogs 41, the Dibble Demons 14. The first win of the season makes us 1-0, and so a good way to start the season. So thanks for joining us. We'll see you next week.